Before we get into this, I want to pitch an idea. Madden is now crossplay, and what I've always wanted to make is a franchise filled with a bunch of NFL players and college players in the league. A lot of these guys play Madden. I want to build the ultimate franchise. Would that be something that you guys would be interested in? Kill the like button if you would want to see that. It would, I don't know, I'd come up with a name for it, but now that it's crossplay, it's doable. But for now, guys, Panthers franchise. Let's go. This has been the greatest rebuild I have ever done. But the only thing we're missing is the Super Bowl. Bryce Young went from a 77 overall. He is now a 99 X Factor. Jonathan Mingo is now the highest paid receiver in NFL history. And he started off as a 76 overall for us. Our defense, we have Travis Hunter, who we drafted last season. Jason Marshall Jr., who was a fifth round pick and is now a first team all pro. I want a ring. We lost the Ravens in year one. We lost the Titans last year. All that elude this Panthers team is getting up on the podium and winning a championship. Guys, it is showtime. Panthers, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the job's not done. My tone's a little bit more serious, but I went into this franchise with the goal of winning a Super Bowl. But bam, look on the screen. You guys saw we lost 21 to 17 in the last one. I love this team. This is probably the greatest team. I would be interested in, this is probably the greatest team I've built all year. I love this offense. I'm making one major switch just right off the bat. Travis Hunter is gonna be full-time defense. That is because you guys have commented that, that you guys want Travis Hunter on defense. I listen, Travis Hunter is gonna be playing full-time defense for us. I got you. Guys, there is a level of frustration that I, I feel with this team. We've made two Super Bowls. Bryce Young has been I want you guys to rank down below. I'm going to rank right now on the screen with animations. My three best quarterbacks that I've used all time. One, Duncan Swain. Bam, put him on the screen. Two, Jamie Newman. And three is Bryce Young in this franchise. These stats, the throws he's made in my all-time CFM, Bryce is probably my third favorite quarterback I've ever used. I want you guys to rate them down below. Now, guys, none of this matters without a ring. I wanted to win a Super Bowl. For all the Panthers fans watching, I did my very best. Mingo has become a beast. We have so many good stories. Keon Coleman has been a reliable member of this team all year. I plan on making trades. I want you guys to know we have some interesting decisions coming up. Our pass rush is rough. Um, the best thing about this team, Corey Meeks, who was a superstar, dev down. There is a lot more negatives than you will that you will find than positives on this defensive front. DB wise, we now have Travis Hunter, Jason Marshall Jr. We lost Kevin Byard, which was heartbreaking. He was a superstar. He retired. He was so mad after that game. He had an amazing, amazing season. But I think where I want to begin is resign. There's a lot of things. Um, there's going to be some people that we're about to say goodbye to, and those people are every single person you just saw now. The only one I would consider bringing back is Amani. I don't want, he was good, but I just, I just don't know. I don't know if it's worth that. DJ Johnson had a relatively productive career for us, but at the end of the day, he was just a bit like, I think to put it simply, he's not a $10 million player. I think that's the best way I can put it. Miles Sanders, um, we're gonna have to do some stuff with this offense to make this offense better. The good news is, we still have a relatively cheap roster because we've made a lot of good financial moves. We haven't made a lot of financial mistakes. Um, we have maybe the best running back in the league receiving wise. He's almost an 88, he's a 99 speed, 96 speed with the plus three. Like there's so many things about this franchise that I love. And that is why I was so unbelievably sad when I lost that game. Just being straight up with you, I was just sad. but. There's a time to be sad and there's a time to get revenge. And right now, it's the time to get revenge. Let's go to free agency. Let's get on the phone. Let's have an off season. Bryce Young, still the best quarterback I've ever had. And let's go get back to the bowl and get our revenge and bring a Super Bowl home to this team. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, free agency, kind of fire. I The guy I look at the most and he lost his superstar ability is Tyree Kill. I like, I, I just want him on the team. Like, that is where my mind, like 21 million, he lot, he would add so much to this team just in terms of like a deep threat for us to throw to. We don't really have that now. Other players that would add, and I, like I said, I'm tired of caring. 
I'm tired of being nice. I'm, I'm trying to win games. I don't care about anyone's feelings. Lattimore has a ridiculous amount of interest in this team, a ton. 17 million. If I bring in Marshawn Lattimore, I create maybe the best secondary I've ever had. He wants to be on the team. I don't care about anybody's feelings. This is a totally new Brett. Brett, I'm, well actually no, I'm just mad. I am simply just mad. I am willing to offer a lot of money for dude because everyone's gonna offer on him because he's the best free agent there is. He wants to play here. I bet if I offer him 38, 39 million, we get Marshawn Lattimore. I have the money. A lot of teams have nothing. That is the difference between us and everybody else right now is we have money and they don't. That is what separates us. I want Marshawn Lattimore on my team so unbelievably bad. It would create a defense that would be completely terrifying. Now, the other guy is Tyree Kill, and I'm curious to know how much interest. Tyreek's getting no interest, and he's a... It's not like the young Tyreek Hill, but it's still Tyreek Hill. 97 speed, 97 excel. He's gonna get offers. They just hit probably, these people are focused on the other players first, but he, I just know he's gonna get offers. Alexander, um, but I feel like, honestly, I try and get Marlo. Marlon. Marshawn. Oh my gosh. I was I almost said Mar Mar Marlon Lat Marshawn Lattimore. Holy moly. Um I'm gonna do everything I can to get him. We'll see where that is in a little bit. If I do that, I, you guys have to remember I gotta play, I gotta pay Bryce Young this year. So I'm not really in a position to like yeah I'm not really in a position what is going on here? Um to pay like a ton of money in free agency, but I'd love to create the best secondary anyone's ever seen. That that to me would be worth the price of admission, but if the bids for him start going way too high and the offers start getting way too high, then I scroll over and I look at Tari Kill and I think, hmm, one person's interested. 21 million a year, I could bring in Tyreek. He's 33 but he has super high interest in coming here. Close to home, Super Bowl, Panthers League favorite. Like, dude, he wants to play for us. I just think he would add something that we don't have. We don't have any speed. Oh gosh. Lattimore, I don't know if is 100% necessary. Lattimore feels like an overkill signing to me. Six people are interested in him. I don't necessarily see us getting him. That's the thing. Because there's so much interest, I'm worried that I won't get him. But I'm not going out of this free agency without going after the top guys. Six player, six teams have bid on Lattimore at this point. Do we potentially switch to Tyree Kill? Let me see. Tyree could be one year. I don't see, I can't afford to even have both bids out. I pretty much have to decide, am I going after Lattimore or am I going after Tyreek? Tyreek would be 97 speed. He is 33. Marshawn's way younger. Marshawn would allow me to play man on man against people. Marshawn would be him, Travis Hunter. We could create the greatest. I think that would honestly create the greatest DB room of all time. Receiver, I can attack in the draft. There's always going to be fast receivers. But there's only gonna be one Lattimore. There's someone, bro. Does nobody see Hollywood Brown? I would definitely consider that. I wonder if that team accidentally dropped him. He's got high interest. Team with 90 minutes speed on. See, that's why I don't go after Tyree Kill round one. See, there's rules in these leagues. You can only bid on one player, like really, kind of one big player in the first round. Part of me thinks I go off of Lattimore and I go for Hollywood. What's the Hollywood bit at? He's got high interest to play for us. I love Hollywood Brown. You know what? Why don't I bid on both? He's under 90. I'm allowed to bid on one main guy and one guy under 90. I told you guys I don't care anymore. I, I don't care. I'm allowed to do one big bid and then one got one player under 90. It looks like the Texans are my competition. Okay. Hey, 
Don't say I didn't go all out in free agency. I'm going all out in free agency. Okay, ideally we wanna see no money. In an ideal world, we want absolutely no money. But I don't think that would, it ended there was 10 teams bidding. Ooh, okay, we did not get targeted signings. Boom, let's go! That is, okay, I love that signing. I absolutely love that signing. Hollywood Brown, I was, I was, I'm gonna, Hollywood Brown is one of the coolest guys I know. Big fan of him, IRL. Um, I feel like we did our first video together in his rookie year. Speed, dude, I overpaid for speed. Uh, like, not overpaid, but I paid a lot of money to bring some speed to this team. Um, who ended up getting, I wanna see who got him, because I offered a, Bills, dude. They offered two years, 50, 100 million. They offered 100 million dollars. Like, you guys wonder why I have to come out here, on here and overpay? Why I'm like, oh, I'm overpaying? He offered $46 million this year and $49 million next year. Dude, how do you even compete with that? But adding Hollywood Brown to me is, that's big. That's a, even though he's, that's a huge signing. I think he will help us in terms of like giving Bryce Young a receiver we can throw to. We've been really smart with our money this entire time. So he can just absolutely burn people over and over and over again. Plus he's only 30 years old. So I probably realistically can still get him up to superstar. With a good enough year, I could make him a superstar 100%. I, I know it. So I'm happy with that. But th that all being said, guys, I'm always looking for trips. I'm not gonna spend any more money in free agency. I don't really think there's a point. But I do wanna talk a little bit about the draft. P things that I wanna go for in this draft. Players that I'm kind of looking at. I think we're still struggling with this aspect of our game to the point where I almost feel like I need to trade up, do something, give away some good value to get a player like this. The other thing that is going on in my head right now is I feel like I need to trade up for this reason as well. I need to find a way to afford all these players. So like Keon Coleman, for example, um, I believe I accepted, he, he's owed how much? He's got, next year he's owed $30 million. He's gonna want a $30 million contract. I can't afford that. I just paid Hollywood. I can't have all these receivers. I had to pay a ton because I got into a bidding war with Hollywood. Hollywood, whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow, okay. I did not realize that was five years. Ooh, that's a misclick, okay. I'm human, that's a misclick. I think I gotta get some of these guys off the books. Keon Coleman I would put on the block for sure as someone who I would trade. JC Horn potentially I would put on the block for someone I would trade. I ideally wanna see if I can get into a spot to bring in an elite level pass rusher. My pass rush has been so incredibly bad and so incredibly slow that I'm just like, there has to be somebody that we can go after that's going to get us more than five sacks in a year. We really, 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 really can't get to the quarterback. Maybe I go on, get on the phone and I start shopping trades for elite pass rushers as well. There's, there's two options to this because we do have enough money. So we're gonna get on the phone and we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, first person we're gonna reach out to, the Browns is moving Garrett. Hello, sir. Yo. Yo, okay. So let's talk, let's talk Miles Garrett. Yeah, let's talk. Let's have the conversation. Okay, what obviously I know how good Miles Garrett is. 18 and a half sacks, 14 and a half sacks. I'm not gonna insult you with a low offer. So I want you to open the negotiation. What do you need for Miles Garrett? All right. Here, let me let me flip over to your team and I'll take a look. Okay. Right. I have um, some players that I'm more willing to move than others. I, Do you have an example? No, I, I uh, let's see you. Let's see what you think is an example first. How available is Jason Marshall Jr.? Uh, I would say less, less than available. Less than available. I would say but he, you're not saying untradeable. I'm not. I would say he's less than available. He's less than available. Okay. Yeah. See, I see you have two running backs. One 94 speed. The other one. Uh, 98. I know that's with the speed boost, but he looks pretty good. Jarquez Hunter. Yep. 
Yeah, no, he's all right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Dark Quest Hunter. I'm just saying. Okay, you're I, saying I would like him. Okay, he, okay, he's a, he's in the trade package. It's already in there. All right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Um. I don't know, dude. Uh, I'll, your first round pick. That that's that's one I would like as well, if that's okay. Okay, that's in there as well. And. Do you like Coleman at all? Mm, Coleman? Coleman, 24, 90 overall receiver, 92 speed at 6'4". Ooh. I would, yeah, that's actually, that looks pretty good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, um, hmm, are you willing to part ways with anyone else, or? I have a feeling that's not going to do it, so I am. What is, what's the something else? I'm thinking, I don't know, the defense uh, besides D-line would be a nice addition. So You have a good, I have a couple replacement D-linemen. You're saying besides D-line. Well, obviously Miles Garrett needs a replacement, right? But yes. It's, it's, kind of, it's hard to replace Miles Garrett, right? So. Yes. So. I I have Daniel Warner, Amare Barno. Barno is a pretty sought after player. Ooh, yeah, yeah, Barno. Barno He's 92 Barno's speed, nice. 93 acceleration. I get a lot of trade offers for him. If that if that entices you at all. Ooh, but he's 28. He's 28. Okay, there's he's, Warner, he's who's younger, and then on the other side, there's Corey Meeks, who's also 22 years old. Which. Mm, I, I do need. I need to look at them because they, they will be playing pass coverage. I'm oh, literally, he is a pass coverage. Meeks is a coverage line coverage. I drafted him as coverage. Right. He's eighty-seven mm. speed. Twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Throw him in there, and I think we have a deal. Okay. Jarquez Hunter, Keon Coleman, my first, and Corey Meeks for Miles Garrett. Yeah, I like that. Cap room. Like it that. seems to work. I would be happy with that. I think I'd be happy with that too. I'm losing uh, abilities, but I do like the players. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I'll talk with my people and I'll get in touch with your people. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I like that trade. I I do. Oh my gosh. Don't make me put this trade in again. Oh, I honestly, I just, I'm at the point where I know I'm losing a lot. I know I'm losing a lot, but at the end of the day, we just don't have a pass rush. So it's like, I'm losing my first round pick last year, who was Corey Meeks, my first this year, and Keon Coleman, who's a stud. But I am gaining someone who will change the team. Like, someone who will make an immediate impact. I am gonna see, ah, I think this is decent. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna be the first to introduce. I, I don't know who you are, what you've got, where you've been, I traded for Miles Garrett. Um, I did the trade, Keon Coleman, you guys already know. Um, to me, it's just, it was the best deal on the table and it's, he wanted out, couple rough years, the guy was done with him. I said, you know what, let's go all in. Like, at the end of the day, Miles Garrett is such a beast. Yes, he is older, yes, he is not necessarily in, I, I still believe he's in his prime. I think I can get two more years out of him. It's a position that we've sucked at. We've averaged a total of like eight sacks a year from all of our players combined. This was a needed move. Yes, we lost Coleman, but I can make receivers better. Yes, we lost that outside linebacker, but he dev down anyways, although he is a good player. Yes, we lost our first, but I suck at drafting. Guys, we went all in, we traded a ton of pieces, pretty much our whole team, but we get Miles Garrett, who's gonna take over, and this guy, this might be the move that we look back at the end of the season and be like, dang, this is when Brett won it all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you guys will have already seen, so because of the trade, it just literally, no one was able to accept trades. So we had to do the trade through free agency. Um, so the trade is gonna be finalized. You will have already seen Miles Garrett in the uniform. But I just want to say I'm so freaking excited about that. We did end up losing our first round pick, um, which is always going to be unfortunate. Now, the good news is there's still, we still have our second round pick. We have our third round pick and we can still try and get better. To me, like there is a few players and he's been shopping Miles Garrett for two seasons now. 
that I just feel like they're difference makers. Whether they're 31, 32, 33, Miles Garrett is a difference maker. Now, as far as where I wanna go in the draft, I no longer have Keon Coleman. So, because I don't have Keon Coleman, I always, to me, I felt like I was wasting Keon Coleman's talent because of the fact that I had just good receivers that didn't need really to be upgraded. Whereas Bryce Young, can make any receiver good. So I feel like I can take any of these receivers, truthfully, and make them all insane. So there's a good chance at that next pick, I go someone like Hugh, who ran a 428, six foot out of Tennessee, 428. I might create the fastest wide receiver room you've ever seen, and I might try and break every single record. I don't care. Um, all I know is my, oh my gosh, like look at David Parker, 424. 5-8 out of Louisville, but 4-2-4. Four, four. We don't pick until round two, late round two. I guess that could change. I could I could start shopping players. No, I gotta, I gotta chill out. I'm just upset. I wanna keep the core of this team. That's why I didn't do the JC Horn trade. Um, but Coleman wanted would have wanted like $28 million. So I was okay getting rid of Coleman. Okay, we'll see you guys around the pick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, guess who's still here? Somehow, I don't, I have no sweet clue how. Um, actually, no, I don't think he just got taken. The receiver that I'm most interested in, the 424 guy, is gone. Bruh! Never mind. Shut up, Brett. Okay. Um, yikes. I gotta rethink things. Okay, so we were thinking receiver, but now I think my. I would love to get a replacement for... Hmm. Like, if we're thinking speed... Oh, gosh! Hugh Pool. I just don't think this guy looks that good, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't. Oh, none of those receivers appeal to me, even like... In... Mike Foster out of Penn State. That guy looks solid, actually. Low-key Mike Foster might be our pick. Dang, you ever, like, just have something completely in mind, in your mind, like, that's what you're going to do, and then everything sucks? Yeah, that's exactly how I feel right now. I feel like I, I went into this with a player and three picks before my player got taken, and I am in total and complete shambles. I honestly, I'm gonna go with just the best available. What about this Isaiah Perkins? Are you better? A awareness? I think it's value. I don't know if it's good. Oh gosh, why do I draft so many left tackles? I have freaking 50 of them. Oh my gosh, it's like an addiction. I just draft left tackles. Some people like do, some people drink, some people gamble. I draft left tackles. Like why? I have, I drafted seven last draft. I draft, how many left tackles do you, there's only, it's left. It's left for a reason. Left, you only need left. Like look at this, oh my gosh. Sometimes I'm just so, oh. The dumbest move, like left tackle. I could field an entire team of left tackles. Like, left tackles and right tackles. I have the biggest surplus. I drafted freaking Hayden last year. Now I have this dude. And I have Ekwanu. It's like the one position I am completely okay at. And I'm just like, yep. Tackle. Horrible. Man, oh man. Bad decision. Roast me for that decision. Never let me draft a tackle again. Okay, so the next, this freaking... Bobby Wilson, the two things that I see about him, fast, which is what we're prioritizing because I already have, we lost Travis Hunter, elite acceleration, and um, what I like about him is he's got a 3-4 grade. It's not like I'm going into the undrafted, like, randomness. Um, he's gone. Someone took him. I'm going to throw my little castle that I painted. I painted this. I'm very proud of it. I love to paint. I'm gonna throw it. Don't throw it. Should I throw it? One, no, I'm not gonna throw it. I'm gonna put it back and draft Bramble. The Tennessee 
Hey, that's a good pick. I'm actually really happy that I got Joseph Bramble. Should have been my pick last time. Someone stole my pick again. But Bramble, we need a new KB. Bramble's going to be our new KB. See awareness. But is what it is. 91 speed, 92 acceleration. That's actually really good at that spot. I'm happy with that. Okay, so as promised, I do want to bring in a receiver. There is some options here um, to kind of choose from. Keontae Westbrook, like, I'm tempted to just take one of the really like, okay, this is gonna be the comment question of the day. This guy can't be that slow. Like, why does it say good? It says great and great. He's gotta suck. He's got, I like his, I like his height. Hey, I'm actually cool with that. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Byron Rose. 93 speed can get faster. I like that. Okay, let's go see this draft um, and see how we did. Okay, draft recap. That left tackle better be Trent Williams. He's fine. Oh my gosh. Holy schmoly, dude. Oh, this guy's good. Max Fryer. I like him a lot, actually. Dude. 6'2", 203 rookie? 2000 XP bar, he might be fire actually. We may, our best pick may have been the pick that we did not make. Isn't that funny how that works sometimes? Like the best pick might be the pick we didn't make. Freaking Isaiah per Perkins is gonna be like, we are going to have to, he's actually huge. Like we're gonna have to expand our facility because we now need two rooms for our left tackles to meet. There's so many of them. This guy, 67, I might give Byron Rose a chance. I don't like his sleeves, but I might give him a chance. Okay, we got a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Okay, I want to jump in here because this is exciting. Yes, I lost the other defensive lineman, but this I love. Daniel Warner, who was drafted in the second round, just received plus five play recognition. Now, with this new look team, which I'm about to do my big kind of intro to everything um with this new look kind of squad warner is now going to be playing there but with that he's actually good like i think i thought he was worse than he was he started he had a bad year last year but now you're playing with with miles garrett like this was his season last season no sacks you wonder why this trade was made literally bro do, oh no this is this season oh my gosh he had three sacks last year i was like did he really have no sacks last year? I was like, it was worse than I thought. But he's gonna get a training camp standout week number one, two, which is awesome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta intro. First thing I wanna introduce you to, I got his number, correct? Now, Miles Garrett's officially number 99. He's got no outsiders, double or nothing, pass commit. I don't think I'm gonna, I'll probably go under pressure and edge threat elite. He's the best, dude. Like, I'm investing in this. I literally need him. These two can work together. And then Warner is just gonna be amazing. Now, I do wanna talk about my safety. So, Max Fryer, um, he was the random hidden fifth round pick. I'm gonna start him. I actually currently don't have a strong safety on the roster. So, he's gonna start, which is gonna give us an opportunity on that side. I want to get Javon Buller. Javon, AKA, I should have picked TSAP in the Super Bowl, but I decided to warp through the other receiver. Uh, I'm gonna let him play true safety and then uh, Bowman and Bramble can work together. Receiver wise, I have Polk, I have McGee, but I'm gonna go with the young Byron Rose. I've, I've decided Byron Rose, 93 speed, 93 excel. This reminds me a lot of Braylon James. It's kind of the Braylon James build where you're fast, but you're also tall and it's a good mix. This team, it's, it's interesting. I felt like I had to make a move. I was too upset. To not. It was one of those things. I'll own the fact I hated losing that Super Bowl. And when I look back and I look at the games, I'm like, man, I was not, I didn't get pressure once. Uh, I went days without getting pressure. I think Garrett should hopefully help get our entire D line to bring more pressure. Travis Hunter being on defense. Like, think of what that's gonna add. We have Travis Hunter and my rookie, the, my 96 speed fourth round pick and Jason Marshall Jr. They're working together now with JC Horn. Our DBs have gotten so much better. Miles Garrett's gotten better. We lose Keon Coleman, who was a fan favorite, but we were gonna have to pay. Instead, we decided to make a questionable decision 
a very questionable decision when I decided to pay Hollywood Brown $50 million. Travis Hunter, I went to, I said, dude, you got to play defense for me all year. We got to get better at that side of the ball. Our offense, Bryce can carry us on the other side, which he agreed, which I don't know why I'm talking in this weird, like third person, like I'm, like I'm not myself. Maybe I'm losing it, but I love this job. Just as a little teaser, guys, thank you, man. Like, I don't know who's watching at this point, but like every day I wake up and I'm just like, dang, I'm, I'm so lucky. But I, I work hard. I don't take a single day for granted. And that's, I hope you guys realize, like I, I promise, even when I go away, you guys will always have videos. And that takes a lot out of me at times, but I do it because I love this job and I appreciate this job and I just refuse to take this job for granted because it I truly feel like the lucky so if you guys have a dream and I know this is gonna sound cliche if you got a dream to do YouTube do whatever please do me a favor and like right now go try and accomplish it I know that sounds really lame to say but this was my dream as a kid I, I would watch YouTube every single night before I went to bed it was my it was my routine I'd watch a YouTube video before I went to bed of my favorite Madden YouTuber, usually like two or three YouTube. I couldn't have watched my own YouTube videos because they're so long, but um, I would watch YouTubers and I was always, that was my dream to do it. And I, I feel like in some ways I'm, I'm proud of myself because I'm like every day I get to live this like life that I always dreamed about, you know? So thank you. That's, I'm sorry I'm weird. But truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I, I really, 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 really appreciate it. Now, on a more serious note, I don't care about anybody in this league. I'm winning the freaking Super Bowl. I'm sorry for trading Keon Coleman, but it's the Mingo Show. Hollywood Brown, I paid you a lot of money. Your family's gonna be set for a long time and I gotta change your number. But guys, with that all being said, Let's hop into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the thing to look for this year, as I mentioned, oh gosh. Okay, don't, don't take for granted the fact that we had some really, really, really excellent receivers last year. And this room has totally, totally changed. Let's catch Polk. I don't know if Polk will be my main guy, but I, I gotta just... I gotta relax first thing and realize that this wide receiver room has changed a lot. Like I don't, I no longer have Travis Hunter. I no longer have Keon Coleman. Like this is, there's a lot of really good players that aren't on this team. And Miles Garrett, can you not? Can you not? Oh my gosh, are you watching? Who is on? Who the heck is on him? My gosh. Okay. Oh, let's get we a little bit humbled to start, but let me introduce you to our newest player, Miles Garrett. Absolutely horrible beginning, but we have Travis. First play of the game. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Carolina. Okay, I will figure out how to move the ball again. I will figure out. I I maybe didn't realize. Oh my gosh, get Lurk freaking bought. Good job, boy. I'm, we're going to be the best defense in the league this year. Hunter playing full-time. Okay, I got to relax on this side of the ball. There might be some growing pains when it comes to the passing game. Hakeem Ekwanu, well done. Okay, push the pile a little bit. Hollywood, what did I say? What did I say? Hollywood! Favorite receiver in the league. Favorite receiver in Madden franchises. Don't add me. I absolutely love him. Okay. Just, literally, we just got to calm down a little bit. This is a horrible start. That is a crazy beam. We're back. Greatest franchise turnaround ever. We're back. I promise you. There's Prescott. Begged. Look, look who it is. Warner, does that count for anything though? That should, realistically, that should count for somebody. Because he's in his like little breakout thing. That should, should mean something. Good hit. 
That's the that's the safety that's a rookie on that side. Miles Garrett got him again. Good job. No sacks, but twice. Twice he has caused a lot of issues for this guy. Just not enough time for the play to develop. Lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. He's gonna take a shot at the I got I got KL abilities, yeah. Jason Marshall Jr. is finally elevated. He's he's a true number one DB. We got two true number one DBs. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Miles Garrett again. Three pressure? Four pressure? I don't know. I mean, I'm losing count. Prescott to throw on four. He's gonna float this over the middle deep. Bullard. Watson, same same guy who put up 28 against us last year. Um, through two drives has been held to literally almost no movement. Now Young gonna move him around. From the gun, they'll try to run it. This will be though if they're stopped. Young will set to throw. Got him. Hollywood. Marquise Hollywood. Stop playing man. I have speed now. I know for a long time I had no speed on my team. I have speed now. So, 14's up. Now Prescott. He's going to air one out. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown. Yeah. Now Young. Work in the middle of the field. He's got it complete. Time off, time off, time off. Okay, I think he gets ball in half. So it's actually more important than you might think that I get seven points here. I, I want to know if this Rose or Brown or both. It'll be young again. I like Rose. Nice job, Rose. Good catch. Young with it. Third and goal. That's all right. Yeah, we're going to end up with three. He's got, like, our schedule, our first few games are going to be real testers for the year. Like, going up against this week, obviously, the Cowboys, who we played in the AFC Championship. And next week, Atlanta, we played in the Divisional. Like, we got a gauntlet to start. First down, Prescott. Good job, JC. Good defense. He's an opener. Prescott on play action. He'll hit Watkins into this football game. Pollard is in. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this. There it is. Okay, this drive, I'm just going to relax. Oh, gosh. I've gotten myself into a little bit of trouble here. Um, his offense can he started to move. Yeah, I'm gone here. Should be at least. Good run, right? Dot. I can't freaking score in the red zone. Oh, and that's important right now. That is very important. Yeah. That that that's called my fadeaway jumper, where I run right, and then I have my running back go the other way, and then it's kind of like a sort of reminds me of like a screen pass or like a fadeaway. Okay, he's gonna try and throw the ball deep. I'm gonna sit back and just try and prevent it. Prescott now from the fifty. He's gonna let this go back of the end zone. And this is caught for a cowboy touchdown. Two man under, Travis Hunter. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. Okay. And the Cowboys have made it Score a against. yards. Brandon, in such a high stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on the And a big loss here as he's taken down. Mike I was Parsons trying to get rid of that. Oh, no. That was the worst thing I could have possibly done. Bar none, by far the worst possible thing that could have been done in that situation just was done. Okay. Um, he's so good. He is so good. He's telling the problem is he's done 14 yards. 
the good news is if we get a first down, I can probably run, and that, that'll be it, but that is easier said than done against freaking Micah. Micah Parsons on that side has been insanity this game. Yeah. You forget about him? It's cool if you did. I just probably would keep it on. Mingo! Bingo! Well done. Part of me thinks you go for it here. You go for the win. I think I think in life, in this situation, you go for the win. He's just playing cover one, isn't he? Fourth down, young. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Swish. He's about to throw it. Yeah, there's no chance. That can't happen. Now Prescott. Let's catch its breath and let's us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple of plays in the middle. So they're ready. Okay, he essentially needs this right very badly. First field goal try. Give him yeah. a lot of credit too because he stood there the but, funny enough, we, we still got it. Okay, guys, I just want to say great start. I noticed the difference of Miles Garrett. I also noticed the loss of Keon Coleman, the loss of the first round pick. I noticed those things too. But the main thing I noticed was that Keon Coleman. Um, could kind of be replaced by Hollywood Brown. I'd rather Keon Coleman, but we had a great game from Hollywood. And then Miles Garrett is what we were missing. Truly, truly, truly. Look, I had one TFL with Warner. I don't think I got enough of them. But to be able to finally get pressure, something that we have not had at all. You have to remember, we've, we've won a lot of this franchise with a 70 overall D line. It's just been... A consistent problem that I've never been able to address or figure out. Warner doesn't get his upgrade, but I thought he looked really good out there this week. Uh, Bryce Young, another unbelievable opener. Just perfect week in a lot of ways. 293, four touchdowns, no picks. Hollywood had some big catches, so did Mingo. Pressures don't show up on the stat sheet. And what's crazy is he won't get a single stat from that game, but he was the best player on the field by far guys week two this is going to be the test of this new defense we're going up against atlanta who you know scores a thousand points a game Let's see if we can figure it out okay we got a weekly award who would that be bryce young you already know don't don't even ask if you know the answer i would love to make him a two-time mvp this year but my number one goal is to get that number one seed and get back to the bowl i really like awards i'm just kind of i'm just mad i just really want to ooh. Hate losing so much. Like, it's just that game really, really, really got me upset. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not doing the Bryce Young upgrade, it won't really do anything because he's totally maxed out, which Jonathan Mingo is getting close to that point as well. Um, he's an X Factor. What a career he's had. Truly, 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 what a career. Once we hit 95 with Jalen Wright, which might be this year, we might have a human joystick, which would be like fastest human joystick running back ever. Bullard, who was, I think, in our first ever draft class for this team, this, the Keon Coleman draft class, 87 overall. If he somehow became a superstar this year, that would be one of my favorite progressions of a player ever because he literally was just like kind of blah. And then all of a sudden, like, not blah, but he was good. And then it would make sense that like, oh, you become a star in your fourth year. Like, he's still only 24 years old. I draft him as a 21-year-old. Hopefully, we can get a ton of stats with Bullard playing that free safety spot and make him a superstar. That would be my goal. He's already got one pick. He had four in his rookie year. Okay, this is the test. What are we going to do against the guy who we can't seem to stop? The Atlanta Falcons. This, let's see what, how we do. I think this guy's just screaming at me. I really do. If that's accurate, like, okay, that's what I'm saying about Bryce Young being the best. 
Like, I don't know where, what else do you need to see? That was dead accurate while getting hit. Second down, Young. To the goal line, but it's you gotta be kidding me. Veteran Hollywood order the order the Hollywood jersey. That is that guy cares. That guy cares about his team. Wow, he got depleted. He got absolutely depleted right there. Just punched. Man, oh man! But he held on to the ball. That's all that matters. Miles Garrett, dude, you're seeing it like in front of our eyes. In front of your own eyes. Man, oh man, I love Miles Garrett. I have stopped watching Miles Garrett just totally burn left ta right tackles. I gotta focus more on my user, but. Bro. Somebody pay him. That's all I I don't know. You may have thought I gave up too much for that deal, and you have every right to believe whatever you want to believe. But my goodness. They're gonna try and throw. He's gonna fire one deep. Excellent defense. That's excellent defense. Ah, uh, that's a bad juke. As someone who likes to run the ball, I pride myself on being able to score in those spots. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, make sure to timestamp these. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Why am I, I, I'm honestly just watching Miles Garrett right now and just in amazement at how dominant he has been. Two and a half sacks already on Drake May. Come here, dude, Warner, what did I say? Team star double teaming. Warner's got one and a half sacks today. They start double teaming. They start having to make some decisions. Things change. Things can change really quick because of one player. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. I was about to say I didn't think he was going to throw that. I did not think he was going to throw that. They'll try and throw for it here. I screamed at him. Yep. Decided to blitz 30-yard zones. That is, for the first two seasons, didn't stop this guy once. We've stopped him now three times to start this game. And Warner, the young guy, he's got two sacks as well. Yep, someone bring out the cart. Yeah, that was a hit. I can't believe I didn't fumble. I literally went for a jump hurdle. That is a little bit, there's levels to defensive confidence. Jump hurdling with your quarterback outside the pocket. That is a level of confidence you should never have. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find... Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Shout out to the rookie. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. <laughs> Miles Garrett. Again. Back to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Who's GC Horn, isn't it? I wonder if that trade's still on the table for JC for Dexter Lawrence. I doubt it, but I wouldn't do it. But man, oh man, for whatever reason, he gets burnt all the time. They're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. 
Okay, this game is getting a little bit dicey. Back to throw again. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Come calling the one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Man. What am I doing? Okay, I like. What did I say about playing this guy? This is pretty much how it goes every single time, unless you're up by fifty. You're you're down against him. Like seriously, he is so frustrating. He scores so many points. It's not even funny. Heads up. Heads up. You see how fast he scored though? That now I'm thinking let's slow this game down a little bit. I do not like the pace. I don't like how he's dotting me up over the five wide. Let's slow this down a little bit. Now a handoff looking right. And tackle it though. Looking left side and he's got a man. Yeah, I got it. Yep. And he's well done, you got it. Now Young. Towards the end zone for Brown. Should have him. Yep. Okay. I gotta switch up my defense for sure. He still can't stop us, is the reassuring thing, but I, I gotta switch something up. Good job, Warner. Two for him. Next, Miles Garrett. I didn't say it. I'm just saying it. Bro, oh, these throws. He'll look to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robin. They'll look to throw here on first down. Miles, thank you. Three and a half for him. Asking a lot of those guys, they have to block as well, and every now and then they don't come down with the football. Now back to throw, out to his left. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. It's like you truly like. Sometimes I just say, "Wow!" Like, wow. I don't know. Wow. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure. Who got it, Marshall? You got. That's two points for you. Oh, it should have been. It should have been. That would have put us up five, and the three would have done a lot more. Okay, it's onside kicks every single time. Well done. Whatever. I'll score again. It's just a, it's a pattern. You don't even want to score against him because you know he's going to score against you. So it's like... Am I gaining from this or am I losing from this? Is this helping me or is this hurting me? The great debate that goes on in my head. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Back to throw here. No, no, no. Two minute warning. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw again. Hunter, there it is. It's about time. It is about time that Travis Hunter, all full-time defense. Guys, boom! That is why we do this. Keon, I love you. I absolutely love you. Kind of reminded me of T. Higgins in a T. Higgins situation, actually, but I had to make a deal. He's 31 years old, but he's gonna help. And you saw in this game right here, like three and a half for him, two for Warner. This is a duo. Like he was everywhere, all at once. He was in the backfield. He was really, 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 really dominant in this game. And that was awesome to see. Three and a half sacks. Okay, two and oh, we just beat the two players that we played in the playoffs. Those are probably gonna be the two people I'm gonna be fighting for the number one seed with. So to beat them early is amazing. I love it. We got the Colts and the Jags coming up next. Guys, we're buzzing. Next, though, next week we get to talk about contracts, which I don't know, 
I don't want to see how much Bryce Young wants. I really don't. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk. It's crazy how much money I still have, but that's a contract and he doesn't even want to be here. This is why we're able to like make moves right now. Okay, actually, whoa, I'm about to overpay. I want him to accept. I'm gonna offer Bryce this. Marshall, I can overpay for. Yeah, Marshall, I can overpay for. Wow, 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 wow. I need him back. Bro, we are broke. We are broke. Okay. After Bryce Young signed, we are gonna be so he didn't even he didn't even accept that. I offered him everything I had, and he did not accept it. Okay, um Let's think about this. Okay. Well, we will cross that bridge when we get to it. But as of right now, we're just going to continue. I think Hollywood is like, this is what we've been waiting for. This guy is what this franchise is all about. Fourth round pick. He's now a 90 overall. Like we got like, one of the best DB duos in the entire league. And he was a fifth round pick. He's been just a stud. Daniel Warner is also what the channel is all about. Just a guy who's randomly starting to get insane stats because miles garrett literally draws a double team forces people out of the pocket and it's amazing week three colts week On third and short, they'll try and yep the you caught like how did he catch the ball the game before do you guys remember the game before that wow 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 that was brutal Yep, love that animation. As long I, all I'll remember about Panthers franchise is throwing posts and how he catches them in stride. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm, the one that makes up for it a little bit. The drop he had, though, that was the shocking part. The drop really surprised me. Okay. Play a little defense. Let Miles go pick up a win. Oh, no. I, I lurked him. I totally lurked him. Oh, you saw it, too. I just thought that was going to... I had to click on Mark. Miles Garrett. Yep. Put that one on your freaking bingo card. Forced fumble interception? Forced? I don't know. That forced? I... Miles Garrett got to him, though. Brown to catch that. That's what I'm more impressed with. Yeah, you gotta throw that. As soon as that, see that? As soon as that safety kind of like sits back looking for the streak, I throw that so quick. Like I'm quick snapping so that people can't adjust to it. Beam. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. Did you see Miles? Like Miles Garrett spun off of the right tackle, which gave him a ton of room. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's running the cover three blitz on YouTube. I bet if I roll out this way, yeah, see how that guy, what? Never mind. You gotta dance sometimes. You just gotta dance. I used to love the song, I Hope You Dance. It's one of my favorite songs. It's like, I hope you... I know, I'm not going to sing it. Go listen to it on your own. But it's beautiful. Ab, you will... You won't... You'll thank me. It's beautiful. 
to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Shoot. Anyone got an angle? Jonathan Taylor. Dang. He's fast. Richardson will throw for it. The weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good Dang. in the first half. Moderately impressed with the pressure on the outside. You'd think having 14 tackles. Is there a world where 30-year-old Hollywood Brown has a career resurgence on this team? If there is, I want to be a part of it. I feel like there is a world for that. That will never get old. Never. Third and two. From the gun, he'll hand this off. There we go. I once more. Young. Flush to his right. I. I don't know. I don't know how. What to make of that. I don't know what to make of that. If I'm him, I definitely am uninstalled. I am playing Pal World if I'm him right now. Richardson looking to throw. A short one there. Take. Richardson shotgun on third down. Yo, really? Oh, those are the plays I want Hunter to just start like totally pick sixing at some point here. Richardson back to throw it. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And they've got Richardson now on third and goal. Good defense. Fourth down. Fourth quarter. Fourth down. Desperation time. Here's Richardson. Guess who? Miles Garrett. Well done, Miles. That's the on those. It's fourth downs. It's third downs when you need just a little bit of pressure. That's when we're really going to notice him. Someone's about to be open. Yeah. He's going deep for Brown. Never change, Bryce Young. Just promise me. Promise me you'll never change. GG, guys. Three and a. Go, Hollywood. I got to prove everyone wrong because you guys hated that signing. I just know I could hear the comments. But do you realize that everyone plays cover one against me? Because they know I never draft for speed and I don't care about speed. So when everyone plays cover one against you, at some point you got to fight back. And Hollywood is me fighting back. Hollywood is me fighting back to that. So people can't just play cover one because they assume... In what, what's the last league I had a receiver that was over like 93 speed? You probably can't even think of it. I need someone who can force these guys to not just sit back and play cover one against us. And Hollywood so far has 400 yards in four weeks. In three weeks and a quarter. Like, I could break every single record with him, and I'm about to. On play action, Lawrence. Come here. Miles Garrett again. I think he actually, that was him and Warner. Bro, this could go down as the greatest trade I've ever made in my entire life. Truthfully, it could. Look at him. Do you see that? Like, just watch him. He's a complete mismatch. Now on third and long, they look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he'll return it. Young on third down. Yeah, Mingo's going to catch that. All day. One-on-one -on -one coverage, Mingo's going to catch it. Oh my gosh, Polk. Did you guys just look at Polk? He got decleated. Oh my gosh, at the line of scrimmage. He got just totally decleated. Got him. Billy Bowman. Get alert. But the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Why do I never get fast player? Like, as soon as I'm third and short, I can literally just run that play and I can throw it every single time. Hollywood's about to break every record. 
like by a lot. On second down, here's Lawrence. Going down the middle and it's complete. On first down, Lawrence. Oh my gosh. You ever just look at a throw and you're like, wow, that was really, really, really good. That's how I feel. That was incredible. Now I'm going to switch to man. I'm going to try. I got these two safeties. Um, well, Fryer's the main young one that's actually been playing. Now Lawrence on first down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. We are kind of buzzing right now. We are kind of buzzing a bit. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And Young off the play fake. Nice catch. Yo, a Hollywood, what is this? Oh my gosh. On play action. Young. He's open again. And that one into the like, what did I say? Field. With Bryce Young, I can make anybody. And not to say that any, but like, I could get 3,000 yards with Hollywood Brown this season. I really could. Dot. Fear as they come up on first and goal out to his left and he'll take this points out of this drive and they need him right now because they're trailing yeah this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill that's a dot good throw on third down Lawrence oh my CJ we're there dude we are there again it's Lawrence Bullard, yep. He, like I said, he's the one who needs to be paid. So, he's who I care most about getting breakouts. Our defense, like, was this pressure? This is like an entirely new. I've never seen us look this good on defense. I truly haven't. To do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four possession. That's a good play. This possession is an empty one. Lawrence gonna find they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from Dang good <sighs> That is what the KO abilities do. That was what? He clearly go look at the replay. I don't think he caught that ball. Maybe he did. I don't think he did. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. ETN. We'll get fourth down. Here's Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars. That was the most hectic drive I've ever seen in my life, but he scored. On second down, young again. Go up. Oh, wide open, complete. Throwing, young. Good job, Mingo. Young to throw it. <laughs> bingo, bingo. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Their full playbook, no matter who's on the field. GG's, man. GG's. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, weekly awards. This is like the same. How many breakouts going back to last year? The problem is. I don't want breakout QBs. Um, it's not really something that benefits me. Not that it, I think that's maybe the wrong word. It does benefit, but we're, we're maxed out. Like he literally can't get any better. So you won't see that be my main goal. My main goal right now is I'm trying to get Hollywood Brown abilities so that he can go up to a superstar. But, and I've done a lot to make that happen. I think he's leading the league in receiving. I would be shocked. He's got 549 yards in four weeks. Like, I'm just throwing him the ball a stupid, stupid, stupid amount. Um, Chris Hayden, Max Fryer gets an upgrade. Max Fryer is one to watch because he's actually playing on defense. But I do want to key in on, I don't think they got much that game um, in terms of stats. Actually, he may have got half a sack. But, like, look at this. This was our end of year last year. We had four sacks. We already have four. It's been the difference. Completely, 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 completely been the difference. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, week five, let's go. Young to throw again on second and ten. And he's got his man in stride complete. And this 
That's a dot. Off the play fake, Young. Got a man and he hits him in. Now Young. Oh gosh. Okay, I got a little bit, little bit comfortable. I got a little bit comfortable. Shoot. Oh, that was throw. I just threw. I, there's no excuse. I just threw that bad. I was trying to fit that in between the two zones and click on, but he made an excellent click on himself. He made a good play. Yep. Okay, I see you. Good throw, man. Dang. That was excellent. I I thought for a second that, that was, we were going to be all right and get out of that. But you know, that, was, that was a good read, actually. A great example of complimentary football if they're able to cash this in, isn't it, partner? Because he got two. Good read. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Got him. Henderson. Well done, Henderson. And give him the football. Yeah, that's a touchdown. Oh, come on. I actually, I like this guy's defense. It is, um, he's doing a really good job kind of making sure that Bryce stays in the pocket, which is, if you were to come up with, like, the way to beat this team, that would be a big way to do it. Oh, my. Hollywood, do you just want to go have the greatest season of all time? Hollywood, do you want to have the greatest season of all time? Because it's kind of looking like, my gosh. Seven zip. They'll try to pick this up. Bowman got him fourth and three. Don't run in that situation. <sighs> Bowman is actually kind of, I think, probably having an all pro start. I think I have like five picks with him. TFL, like, kind of proving my Jeremy Chin trade a little bit right, as much as you might hate to admit it. Yeah, we called him the disruptor, and that's carrying forward again. Makes sense, doesn't it? Dang. Respect. That's a great read. They'll look to throw. He's got right here. Instead of being aggressive and making plays. That dude learned under KB for an entire season. Mentorship by KB. Now look at him. I'm definitely not gonna have any time to get anything here. But... Uh, yeah, just make sure we tackle him. Just make sure we tackle him. Yeah, that's fine. I have my running back be the read. Okay, two picks. Hadn't thrown a pick all year. It is what it is. This happened. It happened last season to me too. Where I randomly just start throwing picks. It's fine. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game. Got him. CJ Henderson's also having a really I would I think after this game I want to look at his stats because I feel like he's having a kind of a really good year as well. He'll look to throw. It got his man complete. Just as I say that, I get absolutely burnt. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that. Dang, good throw. That was perfect. I had him in a, uh, I had him in a 25. Oh, that was a great read. On play action, Young. Oh my. The, look at. Not good. Oh, that's not good. Crazy throw from Bryce. That's not okay. So what a turnaround to begin this second half. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, we are about to be tested. Now they're right back in this thing with a chance to capitalize. Now we're thrown down for the second line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on scan on their double teams at the first level. Make sure that block's secured before they slide off. The thing is, he did miss that. I mean, if he goes for a two-point, if he does go for a two-point conversion um, and doesn't get it, we can win with just seven. That's the that's the positive of this situation. The negative of this situation is kind of goes without saying is that we're just we're in a bit of a bad spot right now. give the late lead. They'll look to 
throw. That's helpful, actually. That's really helpful. You got to score, Bramble. You got to score, Bramble. That's see him missing that two-point conversion. Now I tie with three. That's what that means. Now I no longer need seven. I tie this game with three points. I can try and take the clock down. I want this to be the last possession. And I also can do that because I know, worst case, I can take three and send this thing to OT, which isn't ideal, but it's definitely an option. We moved the ball decent, um, but definitely far from great. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Call. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep running. And like I said, I can guarantee the tie with three. This is when it's so nice to have a running back that you trust. Like, most of the season we rely on our pass game. When in doubt. Right is a great option, and him missing that and not giving me those two points allows me to do what I'm doing right now and just now they try the right side here. Try and just get closer and closer. Now a handoff as they run left side. Now young. Dot. Okay. 24 seconds I can live with. I knew that was going to be open against this cover four because those those zones just won't get far enough back. And I know he's dead accurate with a high ball. 24 seconds, three timeouts. Now he needs seven. So that benefits us. That frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Finds right. And they it. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He'll look to throw. No. GG's, guys. Hey, that guy actually played really, 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 really well. I had to um, – I made a couple mistakes, which made it so that at the end of that game, I just had to clutch up. I didn't – I don't plan on losing. Um, he he was good. Like, he was – this is a new Bucks user. He definitely knew what he was doing. But that last drive, I went to, to Jalen Wright, and he just did what he does. All the time, he just was super good for us. We ended up getting the interception um, with Bramble. That changed the game completely. I would say that's the only reason I won that game. Because if not, I have to try and get seven with no time left. And even if I do, he can get three with like 20 seconds left. That pick six that he threw there on that two points made all the difference for us. And truthfully, that is what won the game. No doubt in my mind, that is what won the game. Beautiful, Travis Hunter is going to get an upgrade. Like I said, Billy Bowman, I think, he could definitely be one to watch for like a first-team All-Pro Defensive Player of the Year type season. I don't know why it's not letting me see his um, stats right now, but I'm pretty sure I have like a good amount of picks with him at this spot. Like, I don't know what the number would be, but I would say four or five for sure. Billy Bowman, as you can see, 95 speed. Yeah, three interceptions, four TFLs, one pass deflection. Like, for a beginning of the year through five games, that's excellent. Considering last year we got five. He's been about five a year. We're way ahead of where we normally would be. Same with Javon Bullard. Bullard is one that hopefully in the coming weeks we start to see, like, Bullard get some type of breakout because he's got three picks as well. And these two, if we could upgrade these two, I'm telling you, it would be beautiful. Guys, oh... Show goes on, is what it is. Oh, and I got a QB. I didn't get it. There's no point in even clicking this. It's just going to be embarrassing. Week seven, we got the Saints. You know that those games always are insane. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week number seven. So now, oh my gosh. Like, he's he is literally asking for very... I, I don't know, man. So look at the... Okay, this is my last offer. This is very player friendly. Like, so my last offer was 26 and 40. If he says no, we're pretty much 
Like we got it. nothing I can do. Wow. I am I'm shook. I'm totally shook. I got a franchise tag him. Like a one year sixty million dollar deal and reopen negotiations. Bryce Young is not wanting he wants out. So I just offered him what, like sixty-eight million dollars a year? Uh, like ish. And he, he just flat out said no. Like that was that was close to very player friendly. I don't know. Wow. I'm I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. Uh wow. So I uh, have terrible juke and spin animations. Um, I actually feel like maybe grab and go would be better than that one. Um, Cause that way he, he gets juke, but that way he gets human joystick when he actually catches the ball. Okay, Saints, we always have crazy games against the Saints. Bills are always goes far in the playoffs and so do the Texans. We got three big games right now. You might want to clip this one. Mingo, do you guys remember Mingo when he was star dev? How insane the catches dude would make? It's still the same. He's still unbelievable. Don't hesitate. If you hesitate for the post, I'll throw it. Like, that's how quickly things can change. As soon as he hesitates, I know exactly where the ball is going. That, is that why he wants freaking 100 million? We're not gonna have any money, Brace. Like seriously, we won't be able to afford anybody. It's a dot. Go one block, one block. Yep. Come on, Hollywood, you're close. See if they're going to play any better, and if not, you keep the pressure on them until things change. His user, I think, stopped because I was going to cut in. I have no, quite honestly, I don't know why his user stopped, but thank you. Seven up. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, God. Take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. That's the guy I wanted to pick. Oh, do you remember when I was going to draft Parker? That's Parker. I just ran cover four. I didn't, he didn't have fast receivers last year. Okay, we got torched. First play. Or get a timeout called if you have one. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And now off to the races. Down the race. Yeah, you're not catching him. The funny thing is, you see 39 is right. You just you don't catch him. Like, randomly, he could be probably on an all-time team. Jalen Wright's probably the best receiving back I've ever had. Get there, Bramble. Yes, sir, Bramble. Third down. I know for a fact. He wants to throw the flat routes. No. Yo, dude, freaking Parker. Peter Parker is just... I don't know if it would have been a good draft pick. He is very small, but he's made a couple big plays here. Down. He'll drop to throw. Oh, that sucks. And he's got his man out. Second and two. He finds his man complete. It's Zimmerman. Doesn't like and the blitz. Really How do I do it? I know he doesn't like the blitz, but what do I do to make that blitz more effective? Because he clearly doesn't like playing it because he checks down a lot when I do it. Hold on, cut it. Hold on, cut it. Please make him work for these last few yards. Uh, him, everyone in my division, it's just going to be like, who's going to be the last one to score? It's what it comes down to against all of these guys. It's the same song and dance. Who's going to be the last one to score? Good defense. Time out. Oh gosh, I great defense. I'm proud of the adjustments that we just made, but I'm frustrated that that was not picked because now he gets an entirely new chance here. 
Yeah, there we go. Right place at the right time. Nice to meet you. Bramble. Nice to meet you. Right place at the right time. I think that's too, like, clutch. He gets all of his interceptions in those situations. All of them. Young on third and two. How? How? How did Bingo catch that? That was literally, I threw that into a knockout ability. That's where he just does not make much sense. That was a wild read. Back to throw again. Flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep. That's, that is why this is a special offense. Rolling right. Absolutely on the money. My goodness. That was, that was cold. I had to take a shot. I knew the corner route might get stopped early, so I was like, hey, I'm willing to take a risk. Beautiful. They're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and come. And second and ten, he'll look to throw. Uh, he's had that all day. They'll look to throw again. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, Marshall. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now back to throw. Got him again. Got him again. Oh my gosh. Bullard. That's his fifth pick of the season. And they'll take over at the 20 yard line. Fifth. I, or fourth. I honestly think Bullard, if Bullard continues at this, he 100% is going up to superstar. The new KB. Underthrown. Oh, that's a tough ass. He was open. It was just under throw, and I couldn't, I couldn't flip around. Shoot! Give me those. Give me those. Got him again. Good job, Bramble. I literally double tap A, eh? and Stover still caught it. Young on first down. Dot. GG's, dude. GG's. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week number eight going up against. So the Bills has lost back-to-back -back years um, to the Titans. So they have been one game away twice in two, I think, three-point games from being in the Super Bowl. This is one of the toughest outs. And next week's game against the Texans. So both these games... Um, are going to be very, very, very interesting. Akeem Ekwanu gets an upgrade. He's almost to 95, which is cool. We're gonna get him up to 94 overall. Do I have weird abilities on him? No, I think I fixed that, yeah. But I think now he gets... No, he doesn't have secure protection. His pass pro is actually still ridiculously low. Now, if we go to contracts, you guys are going to see that Bryce is no longer interested in playing for us. Meaning the only way we're gonna be able to keep him is in the after the um, thing, I can offer him a, um, I can franchise tag him. I can pretty much say, Bryce, we've done great. I know you wanna move on, but please stay and play for me. This Bills team, I actually wanna look at this Bills team because I don't think through the three years I've played him once. So I wanna just see what we're going up against. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's dance. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Holy moly. Okay. Let's talk here. So he is looks like he's in Tampa too. Um look at this Buffalo defense. His D line looks kind of crazy. Like I might have to go under center run game for a little bit of this. He's got two inside stuff right there that are both. And I think these the defense that he's running gets really good sheds. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Good job, Hollywood. Yeah, like he's the way he's pinching his defensive line. I just know the sheds are gonna come in. Like he's gonna get random A gap, B gap sheds. 
pretty consistently, so... Dots, Mingo, bingo. Two for two, 27 yards. Okay, but because it's just his defensive tackle, I'm going to go under center, and I am going to... Uh, I'm going to see if he can stop just the stretch run game, because he's got a really good... Those tackles aren't going to help him in the run game, and those amazing DBs that he has won't help him either. So this is a bit of a different strategy early in the game, but I'm going to do it. Show me say, guys, you got to know what you're getting into in this one, and you better be ready to go because you get to answer the big question of the day. Let's try this again. Quick base, but we got to we gotta run it true. You got to take it outside. Yeah, no, every single quick base is about to be shot. But Kenny Clark, oh my gosh. That is a bit insane. Kenny Clark and Russo both playing D-tackle is something to talk about for sure. Now here's Young. That going to be off. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. See what I mean? It's just going to be random. Oh, gosh. Random sheds through the middle. It looks like Bryce Young is kind of hurt. Okay, we'll take three on the first drive. Definitely some area of concern, though, is... If you're not scoring in the red zone against somebody, it can be ditch. I mean, he has Josh Allen. He's got two superstar receivers. He's going to be able to move the ball. He gets the ball at half. This defensive drive right here, like how we do on defense, is going to be a huge part of this game. I think what we saw there, partner, was a true definition of football balance, which means doing what you want to when you want. They're going head to head, number one versus number one. I've talked about that running back's renaissance for a while. The defense loses him. It's complete. Down the right sideline. Dang. That's tough. Now young. Good job. Okay, so he proved on his last drive that he can definitely move the ball effectively. And quite quickly at that. Um, so I kind of want to play this a little like how I played Len. I want to keep the ball out of his hand. Yeah. Good angles. <laughs> he was he was a hunter. He was playing for the juice. So, okay, we're back. The play that he got me with was just a running back wheel, which with Walker Jr. He's 96 speed X factor. That's going to be really tough to stop. So I might just hope that Miles Garrett can get there, play some cover four match, kind of make him throw underneath and lurk over the middle with Bowman. Last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. <laughs> and which side can step up and assert its will over the other? Oh, wow. Now here's a throw that's complete. And wow, that was very close to being a sack. From the gun, it's Walker. Hmm. I think he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna two clock all the way down, which is fair. Quick throw here by Allen, complete. And they do. Walker. Allen taking it himself. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of time. Shoot. Oh, gosh. I let him get moving, and that's when he started the clock. Once he realized that it was... He gets ball at half is the thing. So that's why I'm so worried. If I can get three, his three keeps it a one-score game. But if he stops me here, gets seven after half, it's going to make for a little bit of a tricky one. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Simply they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their nice throw. I don't to take a shot. Do I go up to Mingo? Your guys' call. Well, you can't really say. Do I try and get out the pocket and throw one on one to Mingo? But issue is he's got his guys right there. Oh, he's gonna let this go for the end zone. Got him. Oh, Mingo. Oh, he freaking caught it. I know he did. Oh, my. It was like in his hands. Shoot, that would have done something for our momentum. 100%. They'll look to throw. 
He's going to try and go deep. That's on me. Previous play needed to be it. Shoot, if I could do that one again, I would have done that one a whole lot different. I really would have. That's the read, though. That's the read? I guess. I don't... To me, that's not a good read, but it is what it is. Nope. Good job, Travis. Good job, Travis Hunter. Okay. Oh, I love that defense that he just played. That that was one of the more impressive Travis Hunter plays that I've seen this year, I think. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Oh my god. Allen off the play fake. Now he'll let it go deep right side. That's cool. That guy stepped all along though. I don't think he did. Just not enough pressure. Maybe if that same look out of um, out of dime might give us a little bit more pressure on him. This is a tough matchup. Okay, we got to score quick. Try our best to get him off the field next drive. You're gone, Mingo. Go for a run, Mingo. Go for a run. Like I said, just stay in the game. You don't have to win it. You're going to have random plays like what he had. But all I can do is just try and stay in it, keep it close, and hope that at some point, I don't know when it's going to be, hope that at some point he makes a big mistake and you win the game. Dot. Here's Walker to start the drive. And a Play action. Allen. He's Shoot. He's not good in the red zone. Get this to the -yard I'm kind of remembering that right now. I don't think she's ever been good in the red zone. So I might kind of concede some yards here. Now Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he is. Allen. <laughs> Holy. Oh, that's tight quarters. That is tight quarters. first guy there hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We got to create a turnover cuz one more. And he is going to go. Third down. Back at the 11-yard line. Hmm, three points does not put him in an optimal situation. In my opinion, he needs seven. I think he would go. I think he probably, if I know this guy, he's looking at this as he's going to go for it, 100%. Play action. Now it's Allen. Well, I wouldn't go for that one. Two from 22. Okay, money drive on me, money drive on three. Yeah, he's taking three. Good defense, guys. Okay, all we can ask is that we have a chance to get seven, run a little bit of clock if need be, and win the game. Hollywood. Well done, Hollywood. Well done, well done. And he's out of bounds. That's all I'm, that's all I care about. Stay out of bounds. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. Shoot. It's desperation time. Young on fourth down. He's got his running back out of the back. Good throw. He can now get the ball back. I'm curious if he would use timeouts though. That's that's my million dollar question. Is he gonna use his timeouts? No, he's not. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. They'll 
Got him. Come on, man! Oh my gosh, a Bright Young Masterclass. That is an absolute Bryce Young masterclass comeback. To score with that little time, the laser to right over the middle. Okay, he can still get like a Hail Mary, but I don't think he can get a field goal. Personally, I don't know. He might be able to, but I don't think he can win here. GG's, man. GG's. Hey, that, my friends, is called a little bit of fight. Tough start. We were definitely like backs against the wall. Derek Brown had two big time sacks to help us get out of that situation. And then money drive. We just, all we do is complete passes, move the chains. We throw it away on third. We make a huge clutch pass to Jalen Wright. And then we run it in. He decided to not use his timeouts because he knew I only had one, which was smart. But... You did lose, so I don't know how smart it was, but we might see that. If we make the Super Bowl, there could be a chance that we see that guy again, but that, my friends, is how you have an undefeated season. It starts with big games like that. GG's. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, week number nine, we are playing against none other than the Houston Texans. Whew, I don't know why my brain just stopped working there. Now, currently as it stands, I think we are the only undefeated team in the NFC, but we have a gauntlet um, that we got to continue to play in. And that's Miles Garrett. I've noticed more, like that game I noticed at the end, that freaking red zone situation. Dude was in an absolute stuggy. Bryce Young's having a good year. Hollywood Brown and Mingo are kind of taking over as a one-two punch. Hollywood's kind of taking over what Travis was doing. And then defensively, like Miles has seven and a half. Derek Brown has four. Warner, like a lot of crazy good performances. And our secondary is performing much much, much better than it was last year, which is good to see. Josh Allen, who we just played, is the current most valuable player as it stands. His stats are pretty insane, and you can see why, because he plays very aggressively. This Texans team has never really, like, made it anywhere. Well, they made it to the second round, but it's I know it's a good player. So it's someone we've played a lot in the playoffs. I know this is not a layup by any means. It's going to be a really tough game. And he's been, I think, one or two games out of the AFC Championship every single year. So definitely one we got to lock in. Let's just keep doing exactly what we're doing. This how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few Go fight. I love these red Texans uniforms so much. Like, I'm not a Texans fan. Goes without saying, but these red uniforms are super cool. Yep, Mingo, well done. Good throw, Bryce. Perfect over the middle, love that. Dot. There we go, good play. That's the, that the Williams, if you ever see, he is six foot five. Six foot five. Crazy. Now a second down throw for Young. This will be caught by Brown to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. <laughs> anything is going to miss right now. Oh, sometimes I love this job. Good throw. Looking to throw Young. Nice catch. Good catch, right? Let's go! Good job, man. Sick of messing around at that part of the field. And I'm just going to run it. Those situations are messy, but I'm totally willing to just run the ball. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. He's got this to Williams. First down, here's the run with Cook. Hmm. And Stroud now to throw. Good job, Miles. I see you, Miles. Stroud now on second down. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he... Cook up the gun. This will be stopped about I'm imagining he's going to clock us here. <laughs> oh my gosh, sneeze. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. 
Oh, okay. This is most certainly 100% a run. He gets ball at half. He's going to try and score with no time left. Is going to be his strategy. I can promise you it. I'm just going to try and make sure when he scores with no time left that it's not seven, that it's only three points. That's, that's going to be our goal. So he wants to act tough. Like, oh, look at me. I'm so sick. Look at me chewing the clock. I'm so confident in my abilities. Kick rocks, dude. Your offense sucks. Kick rocks. Third and goal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How did that work out for you? That killing block thing you were doing? Yeah, that's really... It's way cooler when you actually... Um, when you actually get seven points. It's a lot cooler. You should try it sometime. ...what a top ten defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offense. Stroud will look to throw once more. That is caught. And above 60% just to be in the average range. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Oh, you fell right into the trap. He doesn't know it, but he fell right into the trap. You, you saw my user go with the other guy. You saw my user run the opposite way. It's because I knew Mr. All Pro was waiting there. Good freaking job. Stroud to throw it. Flushed out right. On the run. Uh oh. Deep right side. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Good job, Marshall. Play. Young on first and ten. He's going. Deep. Hollywood up top. Got him, Hollywood. Bro, laser. Good job. GG, dude. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stroud. Bramble. This guy's gotta quit. You gotta figure he has to quit at some point. GG's. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, so it appears Atlanta is no longer playing this season. So we got the force win against Atlanta. That ends a good era of competition against that Falcons user, which I can say I went 2-0 in the playoffs. He did beat me the first two times we played, but I kind of get the last laugh. So now my best competition this season is the New Orleans Saints. And this guy, as we always say, whenever I play him, um, there's gonna be a lot of yards thrown for. There's certain defensive adjustments that I find work quite well against him. The week after this, we got TSAP, which is gonna be an absolute fight. You guys already know. But the one thing I'm a little surprised is Hollywood Brown hasn't had any breakouts yet. But I think if we continue this, he would definitely get an off-season one. We've thrown for a lot of yards. Stover's having a bit of an off year, but that's not really the end of the world. The other breakout that I would love is Bullard. But Bullard just cannot catch a break out. Cannot catch a breakout. Um, but guys, week number 11, still undefeated. Let's keep it up. Offers of all time. He told me he never played against the field. He just played against himself. And He's gone. Dude, that's the best route in football. Like, easily my best route is that deep post from Mingo. Nobody can nobody can figure out it. And he always gets that. Young always puts it in a place where, like, he gets such a beautiful animation and just kind of speed bursts out of there. Now a handoff looking right. Good job, Jalen. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Henderson! Henderson! He's fast too, yeah. He's got Way to get there, Henderson. Way to get there. Let's go. Seven zip. Fourteen zip. I forgot I got the ball first. Week as well, so this is a team that has a lot of things working in their favor. Oh, it certainly is, and let's face it. Oh, wow. So well. That's back-to-back -back yeah. books that he just threw. Wait, our zone's actually playing. I'm, I'm impressed with how our zone just played those two. Starting offense versus starting defense. They want a fast start in this next game. Now a throw here to his running contest. You give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, dang. 
Good throw, actually. That was it. That was a, it's like a 15 yard zone, but that, that got perfectly on that side. Like, that could not have been thrown any more perfect than it was. Good job, five. Brett, why is he? He's the greatest red zone player I've ever had. Bar none by far. Nope. He's short again. There we go. Good defense. Fourth down. Back to throw here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Wow. Our red zone has never been. This is this is a new level for our red zone efficiency. We are really playing well in the red zone right now. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Here is Young. He's got Mingo way out near midfield for a first and ten. Get out of there, Hollywood. Get out of there, Hollywood. That's a first. Okay, I want to be a little smart at the clock. I have enough respect for this guy to know that because he gets ball back, I don't want to give him ball back again. He made it all the way to the one yard line for a reason. Stick with it on first down. 54 yards rushing for him now. He's carrying the ball just five times. It's going to take 30 seconds. If he doesn't use his timeouts. I think I'm better off. Time is more valuable to me at this point than seven. They'll try to run this one in. Second and nine now. Oh, gosh. Good throw. He likes to throw in that little like pocket in between the zones. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Miles Garrett, third and nineteen. They'll look to throw here. Flush to his right. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses hmm. over the middle. Second and four. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Buying time to his left. Throw it. Throw it. Travis Hunter. Great defense, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this was probably... One of the best defensive games I've ever played against this particular opponent. All the stops came in the red zone. And I do think there's something to be said about like what our upgraded defensive line has done for our my red zone play. It's done a lot. Go. Nobody's catching him. Good job, right? This game, I barely, it's honestly, I, and I was thinking that. I feel like I've been on defense this entire game. Corner of the end zone. Red Rover, Red Rover, Caden Stover. Guys, Super Bowl rematch. I don't even want to talk about the Super Bowl. It just makes me mad. I, I'm just going to get mad if I talk about it. Um... Will Levis, a really strong defense he has on this team, like an impressive defense, but it's a beatable team. We got Miles Garrett. There's a very, very, very decent chance. If we end up making it to the dance again, it's going to be against this kid. Very, 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 very decent chance. So it could be one of those rivalries that we just have to kind of see where it goes. We get plus two awareness with Jalen Wright, um, which is awesome. Miles Garrett. There's no real, he's already maxed out everywhere, but oh, where do I begin with this game? It just means something. I just want to win. That's as simple as I can put it. I just want to beat him. I really do. Miles Garrett, well done. I'm putting Miles at defensive tackle for this nonsense. It's RPO, 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 RPO. Here's second and eight. He's going to lock one deep left side here. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. Tight. 
Okay. Did he um did he randomly find another 99 speed receiver, I'm guessing? 98 speed. 64 95 speed. Dang. Okay. Can't press him. Can't press him. Just think about it this way. For most of the year, they've been playing to win their division and get to the playoffs. Now get out of there, Mingo. Get out of there, Mingo. To Doc. Right in front of the safety, too. Oh, good throw. That play works. I promise you, people really struggle. These people like T Tap who run cover four every single play, double flat, double Mabel, they struggle against that play. Get to the Super Bowl that way. Miles Garrett, let's go. Fourth down. Levis throwing four on fourth. Every freaking fourth down, it's one of the tight ends. I just gotta. The sooner I start to realize that, the sooner I will stop being burned by it. Levis out of the shotgun now. Levis to throw on first and ten here. Eluding the pressure right. Good job, Miles. Back to throw, it's Levis. Flushed out right. Oh my gosh! Get him off the field, please. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That one's taken in by Spears. Too short. Here we go, fourth down, Levis. Young to throw it. Nice catch, Stover. Nice catch, Stover. The question is here, in the Super Bowl, we kind of were in a situation like this. I decided to run the ball a little bit more, and I think I think it did pay off. So I'm gonna. That's gonna be my plan here. Good job. Good job, right? Young to throw it. He's got me. Oh, we need a dot here. Shoot, he's really good in these spots. That's the that's your fear in situations like this. This is definitely where he would probably tell you that he's the best. Is situations just like this one. Young will set to throw. Free play. We will accept. Okay, it does take the time off, but it was a free play. So I was obviously, as soon as I saw it was a free play, you know I'm going to try and go for the end zone. Bro, how many KOs? He's always got a KO on his field. Always. Young with it, third and goal. Got. Dot! Okay. We get ball out of half. Um, we've had two drives and two touchdowns. Let's do something with it. Mingo. Let's go. Mingo all day. See how, like... He changes his KOs, so he has he always pretty much every time you play him, he's gonna have three knockout abilities on his team. There, he was getting burnt by that route, so he actually switched his KO to the other side just so it has a better chance to knock out. Touch grass, Taylor. Okay, make it attainable. You kind of have to go for it against him. Oh, because there's a very good chance he's going to score. So, I, what am I really gaining much taking these yards off? Not as much as I would like. Oh, my gosh, he's open. Oh, he's so open. Shoot, okay. Good defense by him. That was a good blitz. Look, he came directly in there. Dang it. Yeah, good play. 
Now here's Levis now on third and long. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. Did I press? I must have pressed. I don't know. Something. Yeah, that's tough. That last drive, they went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond. Here. Good job, Paul. Dude, dude took a beating for that one, though. Oh, my goodness. Polk got absolutely depleted on that. Now here's Young. Open man is Mingo. Complete. It's the thing. You just you find one thing that works against him. We'll run the same defense all game. It's just a matter of you probably will be able to throw it because he's not going to change his defense. But the issue is his offense right now that we're clearly having a lot of difficulties getting off the field. He can clock us. Um, that's the thing. If I don't onside kick, he's going to get there. He's going to clock us anyways. So if I onside kick, his chances of chewing clock against me is a lot less. I should at least have some hope at getting the ball with this. Like, it would be difficult to clock 350. And my chances of holding him to a field goal are similar to what they would have been before. It's not like it takes him that many plays um, at this caliber of a player to move like 30 yards. Okay, we're gonna have a chance. Similar situation to last. He's not taking three. Don't even don't even look at the three. He's not taking it. Fourth down, Levis. He'll let this go for the end zone. I did something very, very, very wrong right there. Very wrong. Confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Yeah, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Okay. Now I feel like I can't. You definitely can't clock the entire thing, so it's sort of the situation where we got to try and try and take the clock down a little bit. Because at the end of the day, I have to try and take this to OT or go for two for the win. Either either way, this game, like, my chances of winning if he gets the ball back are probably relatively slim. I got to kind of take fate into my own hands. Young to throw. And the tight completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Ah, Mingo catch the ball, man. In order to keep this one alive. Ah, he got me. We got three timeouts, but that's, that's going to be GG's. Dang it. Hey, great game. He, he outplayed me. I'll give him 100% credit. He, he outplayed me. Today. Shoot. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Spears with another carry. The long possession is nine tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close. Now Young. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Young. He's got I actually think this is too far. To a one score game. If I make it though, I can go for the onside. I just don't think I can. Dang. Okay. Now, now we go for the onside and the hail mary. It's not like the best sequence of events to come back and win a game, but it's something. Who got that? Wow, he got it. GG, dude. GG. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is a new user. Um, man, we struggled against him one in ten. I hate losing. Oh, I'm so frustrated with that game, but it is what it is. We're going to have to just bounce back, find a way to get over it um, and figure some things out here in week number 13. Now, as far as upgrades that we get, CJ Henderson gets an upgrade. I think I just lost two drives. I lost it. Um, two drives were by far the reason why we lost that game. I just... Didn't make good reads, didn't execute. Whereas the last time we played in the Super Bowl, I did make good reads. It was just him who had a crazy drive finish. That game, I kind of let him control the entire thing. But it's neither here nor there. Guys, I think, what do we have with um, 
I want to see the stats of Mingo, Mingo and Marquise both having good years. Okay, box week. Let's go. Okay, let's get let's get back to the run game a little bit. I think teams struggle to stop our run game. I think it's a mix of Cross and Akeem Ekwanu being really excellent uh, run blockers, but also just our running backs elite. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to his right. Got him. What a throw. Get up field, Polk. Starting to give him a little bit of playing time. It's paid off so far. He's actually he's actually pretty good. Throw left side pulled in by Mingo. Third down. Young on third down. Get out of there, Jalen. Okay, three for four, 48 yards. Oh, angry. I'm angry. Yep, got him. Bryce Young. Okay, successful for this guy. I'm trying to remember what he did so well against us. He was running trips tight end. And I think I was just... His adjustments were actually working fairly well against us if i remember correctly so we got to try and do something against that first down here's white and they'll look to throw here yo that was beautiful good throw directly over my user wow young to throw it Hmm. I think I want to kill this down with three timeouts maybe here. Yeah. His users are freaking lava land right now. Oh, no. That was very close to being cool. Again, it's young. Time. This is where it gets dicey. You, go. you can run and call a timeout, or you can pass, and you might not have time. Uh, I'm going for the run. Yeah, he's Jalen Wright's actually very, very, very good in those situations. I realize that I put grab and go on him, and I think I won't reach for it again because when I think about a reach for it in those situations, he gets a better animation. It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing. Oh, someone's got to match on and play that ideally. Arming to it and not allowing that to happen did not let him get downfield. That's really, really, really smart. This one to his tight end out on the right side. That's really, really, really smart. Team now as they come up on first and ten. Jason Marshall, I was about to say, if that's not a pick, I do not know what he's go. Hunter, break the record. That was, I put him in a 30, and he threw a freaking corner. If that wasn't picked, you're going to see a rage montage, 100%. But, okay. Hollywood. Nice catch, Hollywood. Who was on Hollywood? I feel like this is, is this cover four? This is cover four. You just need one. Oh. This is where it's tough. If I get two yards here, it's probably over. If I take three, it's me. If I don't get it, he could easily tie it. Mm. This is a bit of a tough call. I'm actually just going to quick snap run this. As yeah. soon as I saw I, I think he thought I was taking the fourth. I was like, no, I'm just going to run that. Easy money. They come up second down. Looking to throw Young. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. Right. That's completing only two yards to gain the first here. Young on third and two. And he will scum it. Young here to throw. They'll roll him out right. On a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Go, go, Bryce. Don't get tired. Got him. GG's, man. That's two touchdowns without a lot of time left. Okay. Hey. Little bit of a hiccup in the season, but we're back. Oh, that—that's two for him. 
That's two for him. Get out of there, Marshall. Okay. GG's, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in week 16. We had two force wins back to back. It's year four. It's going to happen. People are discouraged. They're sad. But luckily for me, I am not one of those people who's discouraged or sad. I am uh, I'm feeling quite good. Now, going into this week against the Commanders, currently we are in a close battle um, with the Giants. But I believe the Giants just lost to the Bills, meaning that... It's going to be interesting, but he also has class. So I don't know how this is going to end. A lot of these guys in these leagues have like university stuff. I don't know if we're going to get to play that week 18 game or not. I'm not going to lie to you. Plus one change of direction for Jalen Wright. Um, Red Rover, Red Rover, shout out to you. You are the GOAT, Cade Stover. He's going to get an upgrade as well. I am, uh, if I could potentially, like, to me, the one seed is absolutely everything in these leagues. And I know I say that a lot, but I wonder if someone actually went back and looked at my Super Bowls, the times that I have one seed versus the times that I don't, my success rate, where everything's at. Like, I bet it increases your chance of the bowl by like 40% or 30%. Yeah, maybe even, I, honestly, I bet through my career 40%. But I know the person who I got to beat to win this entire thing is Taylor and the freaking Titans um, and the Bills who we had a crazy game against as well. Now this season for Bryce Young, less touchdown passes, still a ridiculous amount of yards. We've ran for a lot more touchdowns. Um, as you can see, Wright's got 14 touchdowns on his own. So that's been the main difference in his stats. He won't be winning any major awards whatsoever. Uh, and I can promise you that, but week 16, let's get it. Yep. Go Mingo. Go Mingo. Season during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You That's Jeremy Chin is the funny thing. The ball to him right away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. I was going to say, Jeremy Chin. People thought, I, and I don't know. It was like so fit to me. Some people thought that that was the worst trade they've ever seen. Some people thought it was the best trade they've ever seen. Either way, they were thinking about it, which is what matters. But. I honestly think it was a really good trade. Okay, run this in, right? And they'll run on the inside hand machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. Dot. Red Rover. I guess I'm saying that. It's the dumbest thing to say. Okay, seven's up. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh my gosh, Travis! Have you ever like dude ran the route but then forgot he was playing football? Like he totally boxed him. And then legitimately was just like, yeah, no, I guess I'm not playing football today. Travis, you could have gotten a pick against the team that essentially is the only reason that I got you. Good defense, third and five. He'll look to throw. Come here, Miles. Miles Garrett, let's go. Fourth and eleven. They're gonna try and throw. Got him. Good defense. Okay. This is going excellent. Um, it's always a worry at this stage of the season that like you're gonna trip up and lose the one seed or lose something just on one game, and that's essentially what we're trying to avoid here. We do not want that to happen. Yeah, that's good defense. I don't know where I was going. Nowhere fast. That's a dot. That's. Great at the line to gain. Caden Stover, good throw. Yeah, Caden Stover, laser. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Bowman. Oh gosh. They'll look to throw here. Ah, that's a good play. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. That's like a, you get you get the user run with the post and then you throw it right behind. That's a really good combo. I like doing that. I need to do that more against Taylor because his user, he relies a lot on his user. They'll look to throw. They'll set up a throw. Bag, good defense. Warner, how many sacks do you have? Again, he'll drop to throw. That is caught. They're starting to move the ball. 
And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start Good job, JC. That's why I'm glad I didn't trade him. That's why I'm glad I didn't trade him. Start to this game as these guys could have asked for Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side. Good play. Young to throw again on second and ten. Go Mingo. Okay, I think this is like a weird cover one blitz. Whoa, that was supposed to go to R1. I think I got my, yeah, no, that, that was not. That was supposed to go to the running back, sort of. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Don't know. I apologize for that. That was a horrible, horrible, horrible read. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Open man, complete downfield. Back to throw now on first down. He's gonna be sacked. Back Two for Miles Garrett. Now back to throw. Nope. And that is incomplete. He's either if he goes for this, yeah, no, he's not going to. But we got 41 seconds to do something, which is nice. I don't know why on earth I threw that last ball. That was horrible. Bro, that's not even close. It's no good. It's been a nightmare what season. kind of a You're well kick was that? That's three points you've got to be able to bank on. He'll buy some time right. The oh, that was... Dude, that is a clip. That's one of my favorites. Head straight down the field, and he chooses the ladder, and it turns into a huge play. Yeah, I, well, I tried to... I should have got inside position first. I don't know why I tried to do that. That was too much. Offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guy. Oh, everything falling apart. Billy Bowman. Another one intercepted. And he... Following the interception, Young. This... Here's Young from the shot. That's crazy. That is a crazy dot. That's just knowing that in cover four, that that guy has his curl flat responsibility. So he's going to go out. As soon as he does, I'm throwing it. Laser. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's got Someone get to him. Yeah, he caught me. I was blitzing everybody. They're gonna look to throw. Got a man and he came up quickly and made a nice short. Miles Garrett, well done, fourth down. They'll drop to throw. Good defense. Drive. Young off the play fake. Flush to his right. <laughs> Same throw again. Beautiful. Young on first down. Forced out to his left. Young is intercepted for the third time this game. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. Damn, this is awesome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the Giants lost their last game and they actually play the Cowboys this week. So with a giant loss to the Cowboys, we would actually secure the number one seed where week 18 would not matter at all. So all I have to do is come in here, I gotta beat the 49ers. And if I can somehow go in, beat the 49ers, we secure the number one seed. I'm not shocked because I do feel like from the beginning, this season has just, something's felt different. Like. Offensively, maybe not as good, but like 15 and a half for Miles Garrett. Like, you notice all of these. Like, 15 and a half plays. That could be 15 and a half third downs, 15 and a half fourth downs. Like, that he has made game altering plays for us. Uh, we're not going to have the rookie. We're not going to have anything. Bramble, actually. You know what? Joseph Bramble. Now that I, I said that, then I was like, I forgot about these two rookie safeties that I'm starting because. They have both had kind of decent years. Three for Bramble. If you actually count clutchness of them, um, I would say they're, he's had a lot of incredibly important plays that he has made throughout this. Now, guys, big time week here. Let's lock in like Stockton. If we win this and the Cowboys defeat the Giants, we will be the number one seed and we will have the first round by all the way to the second round. Let's get it. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flush to his right. Oh my. Dude, I don't know. I kind of got my user low key kind of got pushed. 
was the strange thing. It was like push, not good. Okay, what's he in? We're gonna. I'm gonna teach you guys how I box. I like to use vert hooks on my slot receivers and then the other. So that way, that guy kind of just enters the middle of the field. Oh, come on, Bowman! Yes, sir, Bowman. Box up. Okay. Let's just play this as simple as possible. If I score on this wildcat play, you gotta kill the like button, though. I will say that. Oh, shoot. That's Fred Warner. He's got pro. Oh, no, he doesn't. I thought Fred might have uh, KO abilities or something, but he didn't. Hollywood Brown. Yep. I'll run him, Hollywood. Three for five, 43 yards. I'm so sorry, Sidney Brown. I I am genuinely sorry that that's not a fair fight. I think maybe I got chipped. Oh, that was that was a lot. That was a little bit of overconfidence shining through. I don't. That was there was almost no reason to do that whatsoever. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's got Here's second and eight. Good job, JC. He's got a deflection. He's got a deflection and a uh, interception this game. Third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Got him. He'll drop to throw. He's gonna let this go. Back of the end zone. Ooh, I got caught in double flat, and I didn't deep half my outside safeties. That was that was so brutal on my part. Ooh. Speaking of brutal, the kicking of my last two opponents, like wow, kicking's horrible. That's the matchup I want to go at. The Warner against Stover. That's I think. Realistically, and maybe my best chance matchup wise. Young to throw it. Good throw. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Come on, Rose. Good job. Okay, I actually might be smarter to take time here. Throw left side, pulled in by They'll throw again. Young. I'm moderately okay taking three points here. I kind of have to be. I could throw to where the blitz is coming. No. Got him. As soon as his user went to the running back, that's what that route combo is all meant for. Like the crosser and the streak from the running back. It's really difficult to use her both. Oh, well done. Okay. 7 6, and we get ball in half. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. That's caught in Thank God, uh, Ford. Oh my gosh, he just dotted me into another freaking into the multiverse. Oh, that could have been horrible. That. Pff, forget, we're playing literally for the one seed right now. That could have been horrible. It's the game plan for the second half. Yo, he's gone. That is the difference. He's gone. Go. Oh. Close, 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 close. Hmm, who's on Hollywood? Can Hollywood get enough depth, though? Yeah, he does. He definitely got enough. Hollywood Brown, laser. I just need him to get, like, enough to the sideline to get away from the middle safety, but he didn't, he wasn't in cover one. He was actually in a nickel two trap. I, I thought he was in cover one, so ignore everything I said, but it's 14-6. Come on, Fryer. Yes, sir. Guys, it's not guaranteed, obviously, but I think we maybe just put together one of our cleanest, best seasons, offense and defensively, that we've ever had. I don't, 
think there's much of an argument. This is pure dominance. I'm going to make it easy. He completes this one to Mingo. Now a second down throw for Young. Eluding the pressure. Good throw. Good throw, Bryce. On the run. Perfect assumes. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Good job, Miles. That's what 16 and a half for him on the year. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Miles Garrett again. Oh, that counts as a TFL. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Nope. I was about to say. Okay, let's ice this thing with one touchdown and cross our little fingers that the Giants lose their game and we guarantee that first round by. Oh, I think I might have Mingo here. Actually, no. Hollywood Brown, laser. Yep. What a season. What a season. GG's, dude. Okay, so I'm just waiting on the results of that. Um... Essentially, you guys will either see me week 18 or you will see me in the divisional next. Either way, great season. If the Giants end up, and they are, I think, I think they're in their game right now. If the Giants end up losing to the Cowboys, there's no point in even playing that game. Um, so I'm going to take a break, rest up, uh, <laughs> and uh, get ready for the divisional. Lab up. I might even try and find some new defense. Especially... Um, just because this playoff run means a lot to me. But guys, great season. The Hollywood of Brown edition. Um, I'll do a more in-depth kind of stat recap, recap as we go. But the Hollywood edition and the Miles Garrett edition proved to be super worth it. These two both over 1,000 yards. I'm happy with the decision. Hopefully, we see you guys in the divisional. Ladies and gentlemen, playoff time. <sighs> okay, so the Giants game did not matter, but essentially... If we win this game, we are going to be playing against none other than the New York Giants in the next round. Um, but let's talk. This is this is a scary matchup. This guy has trivia for everybody watching. What league did this guy kick us out of? There is a league where this guy beat us and knocked us out of contention. Um, somebody probably is going to know what league it was. Um, it was year one of a league. And you'll see his gamer tag. You might have actually know who this is. But... He, he's a tough out. We, we and him always have good games. As far as a second round one seed matchup, it's not necessarily like the ideal one that I'm looking for. If I could have handpicked who I'm playing, this is not who I would have handpicked. It would have been something much, much, much different. But that being said, at the end of the day, you just gotta win games. We gotta find a creative way to win. It's not gonna be easy whatsoever. He seems to be way better against me than anyone else is. Like, he struggles against other people, but it's just, he's got a really good game plan offensively. He understands what I do on defense. He understands how I play his defense. Um, and all those things together just make him a problem. Javon Bullard's almost a 90 overall, which is amazing. Such a cool story. Like literally he was drafted. He was a first round pick. His zone coverage is 96. This is why I like this stuff. You can literally watch four years of him in a week. Um, I signed him to a huge long-term contract with about 10 million a year, but he was a, well, round, pick one of the second round was essentially where it was. So not technically a first round pick, but, okay, we have staff points to spend galore, uh, awards to look at, other things that we can kind of unpack here just at the end of the year. Um, you're not gonna see us on any award, pretty much. I hate to be the one to say it, but no, we don't, we didn't win anything. We weren't even nominated. That's the sad. We weren't even nominated for anything. We had 2,000 yard receivers, but like we just weren't like, nothing we did this year was like ridiculously impressive. And that's kind of like what the statistical output of it was. We were just kind of one. We went 16 and one. We had a really good year, but nothing was like, we had no wow factor moment or no wow factor play. We were just kind of, we are who they thought we thought we were. Um, we can't use speed on linebackers, so I gotta use all my other stuff on this stuff. We actually might run out of stuff that we... Why is it all freaking middle linebackers? Defensive tackles, that's a good one. But, yeah, at the end of the day, guys, it's, uh, this is it. I, we have all the tools to win games. And I've proven with this team that Bryce Young can carry us. We have a great run game that can carry us. Like, I just, I want a chance at the dance. I want a chance to be back 
in that Super Bowl with an opportunity to go win the whole thing. And it starts today, it starts with this one. Uh, I am gonna take a second here, I know I've been rambling, to talk quickly about his team. Because his team is good, it's it's fast. It's, um, it's just a, it's not, it's hard to describe. He's got superstar Jordan Love, good Shipley, and then 94 speed, 97 speed, two really good receivers. Um, Quiddy Payne, Nolan Smith, his DBs are fast. Like I said, this is what I meant. Like Jacorian, Cooper DeJean, Eric Stokes. Like he's got a fast team. It's not going to be an easy out, but let's do everything we can to get the dub, guys. Let's go. On play action, love to throw. Ah, uh, good read. Good read. That's in between. That's in between of 25 yards. So. Okay. Get there, Terrence. Way to go, man. Good job, Bramble. Second attempt. That's all right. Third and one. Like I said, this, this offense of his is just criminally good against me. I... Oh. Did you see the hit from Travis, though? Good job, Travis Hunter. Travis made really, really, really good contact on that. First down, going to the air with Love. He finds Jordan Love ready on first down here. Come here. Oh my gosh, Travis! Oh my goodness, yo, that's I don't care, man. That's a great play by him. Don't get me wrong, that's a great play by him, but. He has to catch that. Like, there's no to throw now. with his overall too. That's a good, good man. Actually, complete. might be the ticket. They will throw again here with Jordan Love, escaping the pressure right. Third down. That's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs. Good hit. Good hit, Jason. Okay, what are we thinking here, guys? This was an ex excellent opening drive by him. Like, truthfully, I gotta. I can't. I can't lie. He's. This has been an impressive opener. He's. He's. He has not missed a read. He's been super like on time with all of his throws. Ah, uh, good blocking. Shoot. Got him. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that I was literally the time that I lost to him. This guy in the Cow Cowboys franchise, very similar play to that. Good job, right? I honestly think his defense isn't overly impressed. It's not bad, but it's definitely not the type where I'm gonna like slow the game down. Yeah, I'm gone. I think I don't think he can catch him. You better flex. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Okay, defense. Just get a stop. It's as simple, just freaking find a way to get him off the field. Shoot, okay, seven up. Come here. 37 17. Good defense, guys. Good defense, good defense. Okay, the four-man pass rush is definitely the move. It's match. Come here. Well done, Fryer. Good defense. Okay, that play before. I'm, I think Dime having four rushers letting Miles Garrett like get it like have two people try and block Miles Garrett and then worry about everything else. I, I truly think that's kind of the move here. Now they try the right side here. That's all right. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he makes Let's catch. At the one. So close. Back to hell. Or head straight down the field. Okay. Defense, I'm gonna stay in kind of a base cover two. 
Miles Garrett literally kind of took over there with Derrick Brown as well. But I think that looked, if I give him time, he's going to dissect the defense. That look gives me by far the best chance. We get ball at half, so with the stop here, this game could get really, really, really ugly for him quick. But we got to get off the field, which is way easier said than done. Discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there? Here's Love. He finds his man complete. He's short again. Thirty inches. To the air again. Love. Flushed out right. Ha. He's got his target. That's complete. He'll be taken down. Just too much time. I can I can live with that though. I'm trying a lot of like different looks that I normally wouldn't necessarily play against him. Like just straight up two man under is, is a big one that we're doing. Cover one, a little bit of cover one. Like all these are just things that I'm trying my best to get him off the field. On first and ten, love. It's all right. I can live with that. Love from the gun. Come here. See what I mean? The the secondary doesn't need to go crazy because it's the front seven that's winning these battles. Come here. Good job. Travis, you literally oh my, he almost just made the play of the day. Did you see the way? Ooh, okay, that was interesting. That was interesting. Oh, that's a great read. Again, it's love. He's got to be a run or something. I don't know him yet. Yeah. That's right on that. As soon as I used my timeouts, I knew there was a really good chance that he would. He would go with the run game just to try and take those timeouts because I do have a relatively high powered offense. Miles, Miles. Well done, 2014. Yeah, okay, good defense, okay? He should only get three here. Okay, this is everything. If I could somehow even get. Three here it gives me a chance to create a two-score lead for myself, which is everything in this. And I think our defense has shown that he's struggling at least a little bit to move the ball. I've switched up my the looks that I'm doing. So I think a couple dots. I'm thinking Mingo over the middle. I'm not gonna stare at it obviously, but Mingo over the middle is who I want to throw this to, just like that. Literally just like that. With one timeout, that gets me to 38. First down, Young. Yep. Can we call another play? I don't see guaranteed field goal now. The question that's on my mind is how much do you want to risk here, though? That's Like, I could potentially line up for a field goal right now. And I'm, I'm definitely considering it. But I almost just want to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take three. There's no point in risking a sack, inbounds, anything. You, I think the smart play, take three, take your seven point lead. You just made two excellent throws, and just get ball at half. There we go. I got it. It may get even bigger plays in the passing game. Eluding the pressure. That's that's just where he's different. Sit down though. Hollywood has a tendency to fumble, like major. He's playing the rollout a little bit, so he's starting to like kind of. You can see him run out when I when I try and get that, which is the way to play it. But it also like once that user is gone, everything is gone. Oh, that's horrible on me. I had that needed to be a touchdown. Young on third down. 
He should be good, yeah, I was going to say. I was worried that that would be an awkward animation, but I figured if thrown correctly on that side that that was going to be completely okay. The thing is, I as soon as I get that stop early in the game, I'm allowing my offense, which is so much better than our defense has been throughout this franchise, I'm letting my offense to dictate the game, which is precisely what I want. Yeah, right there. Like, I want Jalen Wright running the ball in these situations. I trust him, and then this way he comes on offense. Now he's down two scores. I rarely, there's certain players that, like, in most games, I'm comfortable. Like, I'm going to be able to put up some points. Got him. Miles Garrett. Well done. The second down throw for Love. Got him. Oh, my. That is when the trade. These situations are when I expected we were going to start to notice this trade. When this trade was going to go from just like, hey, this was something we did to like, yeah, this is something we did. I honestly, man, it's one stop here. This is GG's against somebody who I always struggle against. Good play. Fourth and 11. Love to throw for it on fourth. Good throw. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Mm, that's just too much time. Man, this way, 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 way too much. I almost if he starts to catch on that. So right now I'm I'm kind of motioning my guys to go outside. If he catches on to that, we could have a problem. He's gonna hit his first down going to the air with Love. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Love looking to throw it. <laughs> no. I can't. Can we clip that? Does that gonna like for those of you who are watching? Was that not cool? I don't know where this season's gonna go, but I maybe just clinched a playoff game, lurking somebody with Derek Brown. You got to admit that was kind of tough. Okay. Get through this one. Or pick. realistically, one touchdown away. Don't fumble. I double tap it. And it still works. That could have been the game. That loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. So I have to throw. As they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Go, get out of there. Like here, they just. Two minute warning, guys. This is going to be GG's. That is why the one seed is so important. We literally, with this win right here, we have a super good chance. We're, we're one win. All we got to do is beat the Giants, and we are going back to the Super Bowl. That's why the one seed is so, 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 so important in these leagues. That's a crazy juke. There we go. That one looks like he'll throw here. Dot. Oh, my. Ugh. Yards to try to pick up the first. Fourth down, young. Call game. Call game. GG's. Sit down. Good game, dude. Good game. Okay. The show goes on one more. That was a masterclass from Bryce Young. Miles Garrett won the game. Great coverage. The pressure was great. But in the morning, because I don't think he's, I don't know if he is, um, around still in the morning or at some point we got the nfc chip and this panthers team deserves it man we have really done such a good job we we need i need to get back to the bowl i really do okay ladies and gentlemen the nfc championship we have all been waiting for okay so essentially derrick brown gets the player of the game for his freaking lurk that he got um shout out to him that was absolutely beautiful by the way now, this game, uh, this has been an interesting rivalry. I won the first playoff matchup. He won the second playoff matchup. And it's kind of been a little bit like that. Like, I, I think we're, we're very evenly matched. He's obviously tempted. I think Miles is going to help us. I'm going to run something a little bit different this year than I ran last year against him. Um, and I think that's going to benefit us. I'm also going to have Travis Hunter playing man on man more. Like... There's a few things that I'm gonna do. Um, I realistically should go short row KO. I don't know if he throws. And maybe one step ahead. One step ahead is actually, what's better, comments? What is one step ahead better? 
Um, Cause I'm so bad with some of these abilities. I just, I never really know. I'm gonna go one step ahead and then I want medium route KO. Would probably be better than short route KO, but essentially um, he's got a good spot. His overall is higher. I think my team's better, but his overall is good. Caleb Williams, obviously 99. Um, JSN, Jalen Hyatt, 96 speed. He's got a lot of really high overall players. His superstars though aren't, like he doesn't have a ridiculous amount of superstars. He's got a good line. He does things well, but it's definitely a beatable team. Uh, we've done a good job this year. We're one game from the Super Bowl. Let's lock in, let's find a way, and let's get a dub. Okay, I know he's gonna, his priority is gonna be to take away the RPOs. Yeah, but that, that throw is always there. Get out of there, Mingo. Get out of there, Jonathan. Okay. Oh, I think like what we've had success with in the past is the RPO game. He he goes over there, but he doesn't actually always run to it. That's that's the one thing that I'm noticing. Like he'll try and make me think like he's gonna blow it up, but he's hesitating and still going over there. So it's not like he's just immediately getting there. There's definitely potential and room over on that side. You gotta put up points against him. That's that's pretty much the way it is. If you're not putting up points. Escaping the pressure right. Mm. And again, he'll drop to throw. Yep. Got a Get up field, down. Hollywood. The play fake. Now Young. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is caught. It's so close. He Good throw, down. man. Oh, okay, these are different route combos. Very, very, very different route combos. First and goal, a chance to get a leg up in this NFC title game. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's be smart here. Let's be smart. Let's be smart. Let's be smart. I think defensively, let Miles Garrett kind of go crazy. Let Miles Garrett get sheds, play a lot of man coverage. And those are kind of our pillars to win. Like, man coverage. Play smart. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Yo, that's crazy. JC, you gotta play that. That's that's one of the main players that he likes. He loves throwing that ball. I got my two best DBs on the routes that he, I know he likes to throw them on. That's excellent defense. That's excellent defense. Good job, guys. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Come on, Travis. Yep. Knockout abilities. Good job, Travis. This one goes out. He's short. He's short. They'll look to throw again. Come here. Freaking A, dude. Great job. So what I'm doing this game differently is I have more of a pass rush and I'm just going man press all day. Man press, inside shade, trying to let him be the one to make mistakes. And yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Dot. <laughs> that one was kind of tough. That one was kind of side arm and tough. I like that. Young off the play fake. Nice catch, Stover. He's a yard short though. That's that's the only negative. He is a yard short. Pick up the first down. Throw it out to the side. Yep. Too late. Too late. Let's go under center a little bit. Three is okay. It's not ideal, but the only thing that I would really get upset about is if I were to throw a pitch here. I need to actively avoid throwing an interception. Dot. Stover. <laughs> what is that animation? What is that animation? Okay, I see you, Stover. That was on the run too. Beautiful. 14 zip. And they're in an early hole. The first drive they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So mm. decent size deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So they have to decide. Do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to and all the way Quad Barkley? 75 Yo, that was... And the Giants are able to strike That was cool. I'm not even gonna lie, that was that was really cool. Drives two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. Right <laughs> Get out of there, right? Okay, I think 
he gets bought half. So it's in my best interest to make sure that this is the last drive of this particular half. Like, I gotta try and be a little bit smart with the clock. Run. I can't let him get, like, double up and, like, have a big lead after half. I gotta play this as smart as I possibly can. You might be done. Oh. Now Young. It's a short one here. Mm, clicked off. Smart of him, too. Okay, this is a big, big, big time play. He's playing the post now from him like, quite well. I got him. That's crazy. Stover, you honestly retire that jersey. That is a crazy throw. That's the only because I know he's using a linebacker. That's the only reason you're going to see me make throws like that. I just, I don't see the risk because linebackers don't jump well in this game. Good job. Looking to throw, Young, sliding out of the pocket. And this one is incomplete. Yo, what did I do wrong there? Intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. And they will have That's crazy. I actually didn't even think I got the first down that. Personally, I didn't expect to get the first down there. He hesitated a little bit. Young working out of the gun, rolling to his right. You're good. And able to get this down inside the 15. Three. This is a bit of dangerous territory. And they'll run on the inside. Young will set to throw. Dot. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And the Panthers are going to have four. That's once again a situation where I'm getting smarter with the fact that he plays with a linebacker as his user. So his linebacker is not going to make the same plays that a safety does. He knows. That's where he has to make so I feel like getting smarter is realizing that. They'll try to run this one in. They'll try to run this one in. And this time he is in. Yo, Jalen, you deserve the world, my friend. You deserve the world, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, great half. Now, defensively, to be smart. I know what he likes to do in his spots. He likes to throw the outside route. The outside vertical, so I'm going to man that up. He got that. I have a timeout, don't I? If I just jump forward on an inside zone, I might be able to steal three. That's a crazy pick. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though. I think I might have this. Can he kick this? Yeah. Says Brandon Aubrey can kick from 65. I don't know if he can, but this is definitely a higher. Dude, I got that perfect. Dude, if that's not a field goal, I don't know what is. And that one's not gonna get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. That's about it. I like my call there though, because I ran, I tried to get a yard. Dang it. Okay. Hey, either way, great half. If they want to earn that birth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying, don't panic, and then demonstrate good enough. From the midfield stripe, they'll He's gonna start just throwing Barkley. I can't defend that. Do I just that's the one thing like Barkley is literally maxed out. Like 96 speed. Okay. That makes things interesting. Okay, this this drive needs to be really methodical. He's proving now that he can just get big plays with him whenever he wants. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in off the play fake, Young. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be There's no down. way. Backed up here. 
Oh my gosh, there's no chance. Did you see that play that he just made? That is one of the better plays I've ever seen. Yeah, throw right in front of him. If he's got KOs, just throw it directly in front of those KOs. He'll buy some time right. This is caught. It's Brown. That's what, those plays are the ones I'm going to remember when this is over. Those are the plays that I promise you I'm going to remember. Like, evading the pressure on the run, dead accurate. Beautiful. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And you... They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. That's guaranteed field goal range, which means for sure we're leaving here with, it, it, unless I really do something stupid, we should be leaving here with something. That's crazy. That is crazy. There's literally no point in running. Like that's a quick base. That he look at how he shot that quick base. This defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, I'm a little worried. That's light. And this is good. got it. Okay, ten point lead. Worry about Barkley. Honestly, my all my attention is going to go to stopping Barkley. Touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits. So you feel like just to keep pace. This strong. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine. Literally, just play the juke. And he'll go down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh gosh. Caught along the left side by Hyatt. And he's I'm just literally trying to keep everything in front of us right now. Hurry back to the line now. No big plays. Make everything. He hasn't really been in the red zone much. Make every throw difficult. Back to throw again. Yeah, I'm not leaving that route. Go, Travis. He's got knockout. Travis Hunter's got knockout. Well done, Trav. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, I left it. I left it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A great effort. I thought because of the bump we had on the line that I was okay to leave, but I was not. Dang, good throw, dude. Good throw. Okay, he's going to start doing onside kicks. Touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. Out. He kicked it too hard. Okay. We got to be able to run the ball. Oh, man. I want to end this thing. I want to end this thing. You reach, I teach, kid. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. Okay, that's going to guarantee the two minute warning. He was expecting him to be on a streak because every other time I did that today, he was on a streak. Okay. Now we start clocking them a little bit. Ideally, we can take this to the two-minute warning and just end this thing. Yeah, I can juke too, bro. I can juke too. First down. That was almost worst-case scenario. I'm not going to lie to you, that was almost worst case scenario because I would have rather either clocked the entire thing in one or mm, you got to run this year, but it's not. This isn't a. Oh, yeah, he's, he's good. We're good. Yeah, you're good. I really do. Statistically, statistically, you got to run in that situation. Fooled him. I did like three flips back and forth. We got him. Okay. Guys, he pretty much needs an onside kick. There is 30 seconds of like, if he can score in 30 seconds, he doesn't. But clutch, clutch, clutch. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Gets this out to Saquon They'll look to throw. It's Barkley once again bringing it. Looking to throw. He's inbounds too. Throw here, that's complete. 
The closer we get, this means at this point he pretty well needs an onside kick. They'll look to throw again. Great user. Flush to his right. Great user. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's short still though. He'll look to throw. Nope. Here's a second and seven. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. He threw it kind of under the KO. Here. This one's not over yet. Hmm. Now the extra point. Okay. Get the onside. Recover the onside. It's game. Recover the onside. We're going back to the Super Bowl. That's as simple as I can. We've done everything we can at this point. We've done every single thing that I can at this point. He touched it. Guys. I want to be the first one to let you know. We're going back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. What did I say? One seed. Win the one seed. I like my odds. Win the one seed. Bryce Young had an absolute master class. Defensively, that early pick, we ran pretty much man press all game. It gave him a ton of trouble because we have KOs everywhere. Guys, that was a performance. We either got the Texans or the Titans in the bowl, but all I can say is we are going back. We're going to... Hey. Maybe we'll be a three-time Super Bowl loser. I don't know, but I can say I'm proud of the fact that three of the four seasons are going to at least end with me being the best team in the NFC with the Carolina Panthers. That's something. Uh, we might have some cool upgrades for the Super Bowl. I don't know, but all I know, that's a great opponent that we just beat. I got the revenge that I so needed, and I will see you all in the Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> Showtime. This is a rematch against, we actually played him really good this year. The Houston Texans and this stacked roster. Oh man, guys, it's uh, it's showtime. All four years have, have led up to this moment. We didn't get a single upgrade. Um, I was moderately frustrated with that. We didn't get anything like no um, random dev, no nothing. Like our team stayed exactly the same, um, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not like I was necessarily banking on that, um, but we didn't get anything in terms of upgrades. I thought Stover had a really good year and has had a really good playoff. So I thought maybe Stover, I thought maybe Hollywood and I was hoping Hollywood for the future, but they didn't. Guys, it's the Super Bowl. Um, we're back. We found our way back. Texans, 99 CJ Stroud, 99 CJ Cook, 99 Dell, 98 Speed, JMO, um, Alexander Inglacius, six foot nine, 88. Like this is, like, what is this? Six foot nine, 88 Speed. Have you ever seen anything like that? Will Anderson, 99. Mikel Williams, 90 overall. Jordan Birch, stud. Christian Harris, Stingley, DJ Turner, superstar Jalen Petrie. Superstar James Williams and Superstar, oh my gosh. Three superstar safeties, four in the secondary. Yeah, this it's just gonna be a game. I don't know, man. Every year we fight, you fight for this point. And I would say we might actually be playing the best on paper team of anybody. They have Jamison Williams, CJ. It's us against CJ Stroud. I am, uh, I'm not gonna overthink it. I think it's just time to show up. Put up or shut up. Super Bowl, let's get it. Okay, what you're gonna notice about his whole team, his defense is insan insanity. And the whole left side, get out of there. Good job, right? The whole right side, you have the Anderson, he plays them side by side and they get these stupidly good like animations where they just break through the defense, the O-line. It's super difficult to stop and super frustrating. Um, and I've dealt with it before because that's, that's how I know that it's, it's, it's a nightmare to go up against. So you got to see how he just switched it. He switched it now. So he's got one in the middle, one on the right side. You're going to see a lot of that. I want to make sure that I start off this Super Bowl similar to how I did against Taylor last year. Running the ball, trying to establish this part of the game and kind of go from there. But run away from those superstars. Yeah. Good job, Jalen. Good one. Let, I want to control the tempo this entire game. Let me control the tempo. Get out of there. Get out of there, Jalen. Another one. Three rushes, 22 yards. 
They'll try to throw down. Young. Yeah. Go. Get out of there. You're gone. You're gone. Go, Jalen. Good play. As soon as he's not usering him, like whether it be in the run game or the pass game, he needs to be with the amount of KOs that we're playing against. He's gonna knock out every single pass that we do, and that's pretty much why you are noticing me be so like adamant to start this game running the ball is because of the KOs that he has on this team. Can we clip that one? This guy needs a freaking highlight here. Can we clip that one? Why is he the best running back I've ever seen in my whole life? He might just be the greatest running back ever. Wow. Just, just wow. Seven up. Look at Miles Garrett. Way to go, Miles. I got Barno in there too. Um, they're both going to be playing a little bit in this game because I know he likes to run the ball. So I have Miles Garrett. Oh my gosh, Miles. On the screen. Good play, Bowman. I was wondering why Garrett just Garrett just came free right through the middle. I couldn't figure out why. Find out how they handled winning, losing, Yep, got him. Second 13. Stroud to throw it. Come here, Miles Garrett. Way to go, man. He's kind of a mismatch at defensive tackle. The more I'm, the more this season went on, the more I kind of started doing that a little bit, playing him there because he can be quite dominant, and like then you don't have to worry about the run as much. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. It's like that, I guess. Dang, that was freaking beautiful. He threw that directly on the cut. That was gorgeous. Start of the second quarter. Here we go. First down. Here's the run with Cook. Better result here. Outside. Nice steady gain. Again, it's Cook. Massive screen. Here's second and ten. And Stroud now to throw. Flushed out right. And he back to throw. Here's Stroud. Touchdown, Texans. Mm, good drive by him. Good bounce back. And the Texans are an Shoot. extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Dang, that was excellent execution on his part. And the thing is, with his defense the way it is, I don't want to get into a shootout at the end passing-wise. I want to keep this game like I, did, I need to stop him, and right there, he just did not do a good enough job whatsoever. Dang it. Time to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. I'm not on the field. Shoot. Oh, I was just lobbing that to Hollywood. That's on me. They want to do something even more impressive to answer that. That's on me. He just came totally free. Shoot, 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 shoot. Time. You have to throw it. I have to throw it like a perfect time if that's not going to get knocked out. His entire team has not good abilities. Oh my gosh, this is brutal. Okay. That's a dot. Good throw, Brett. So before he gets that safety, that's when the ball's, the ball's got to be gone. Like, if, if he's already at the corner, he's going to knock it out every single time. He brings me back to year one of this franchise when we lost that way. You got to throw it before um, and keep it away from him. No, that's not good. Stover. Nice catch, Stover. Way to go, dude. There it is. There we go. I don't really see him taking his time out right now. That's maybe the most interesting thing to me is he's not taking his time out, which leads me to believe that he's kind of okay, I guess, with me taking the clock down a little bit. To throw Young. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he's got the... On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll only get a yard to bring up 
Okay. It looks like he's okay with me taking three. I'm not really okay with me taking three, but I'm content with the situation. Like, going into half with a lead, I don't think I'd ever say no to. Trusting the defense a little bit, but in an ideal world, obviously, we want to throw a dot here. And I've given myself an opportunity to throw one. Young to throw it. Flush to his right. Dot. Mm, he's so accurate on the run. Good job, Bryce. Okay, defense. Pressure's all on him now. We changed the game a little bit here. Pressure now. He's holding the controller a little bit tighter at this point of the game. He knows he's going to have to make some big plays. Okay. That was a crazy throw. I love that. Love that, love that. Miles Garrett, well done, Miles. Well done, sir. There we go. Good job, 54. Stroud looking to throw. He's got this to Williams complete. Up the middle, it's Cook. Good job, Bowman. Might have gotten this one down to the 28. And that's okay. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it. He's doing an excellent job nine. right now. Have to get a focus on staying on their double teams at the first level. Make sure that block's secure before they go. Here's Stroud. He's got his target. Back to the ground, Cook. And he's gonna a tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he's Stroud. That's good. Good play. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back I hate doing this, but I feel like I gotta call I gotta try and get in some good defense. They'll try the middle with Cook. When I link with Bob Point, you know it's not not not. Give me those. Give me those. Go. Can you go home, Bramble? Oh my gosh, Bramble. Bramble has done this how many times? Oh. That maybe just helped us win the Super Bowl. Don't say anything. Bramble's done that like four times. I'm not getting excited because you guys know I've choked two of these so far. I think we have a legitimate chance to get Bryce on the team. <laughs> Okay, now we relax, we just play good zone defense, we trust our offense, and we try and win a ball game. Good job, Bramble. Come here, good defense. Now Stroud. And he'll... Throwing now is Stroud. That is Travis Hunter, did you just get burnt? He really did. Shoot. Oh, did he ever get burnt? They'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. He'll get Stroud out of the gun here. No. Stroud now on third and two. Give me those. To force it in and it's intercepted. And they will take over at the 26 yard line. Okay, this is where we gotta be smart. We're gonna try and end this thing. Can't be too conservative, but couple first downs, this thing's over. Go ahead and throw it downfield. Unfortunately, it didn't work. All right. Just take care of it. And they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. He's going to find his people missing the open field. Can really generate big plays for him. To me, you try and just win the game right now. First down wins you the game. That's the only way I know how. I, it is, might not be smart, but to me, you try and win the game right now. Fourth down, Young. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. 
the Green Bay Packers got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl one. This is not good. This Rich is Gannon not good. Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison and the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. Pick oh, six. Oh, man. Bowl. Okay. Everyone's just got to breathe a little bit here. Send the tight end in motion. Breathe, including myself. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have? He's got it. And take care of the he's got one, one timeout right left. One timeout. Doesn't have the two-minute warning. Now they try the right side here. What exactly can we do with this? That's the million dollar question. Can I win this without having to go back on... No, I can't. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And a short gain there down to the 37 yard Okay, so the way I just played that, I can... Essentially, he's going to have a full field to get seven, no timeouts, and like, what will he have? He'll have 20 seconds, if that's correct. This to swell the lead to six. And this one is right down the middle. Really impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first mm. quarter. Sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. And they lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really time now to lean on that leadership. as well as to understand where they are on the field. He should have just a Hail Mary here. Oh my gosh. To set up and throw the ball all the way downfield. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. That's it. It's all Guys, I gotta I just gotta say, ups, downs, we never gave up on this franchise. I knew Bryce Young was different from the beginning, and we never gave up for a second on this franchise. The highs, the lows started off making the Super Bowl two seasons in a row of sadness, but it ends with Bryce Young. On the podium, Bullard, you can see him up there as well. So, oh, that's a cool, I've never seen that animation. Guys, this is what it's all about, man. A lot of situations in this franchise where it looked bleak. Like, I was distraught. I lost to Taylor last year. I feel like this is the team. I switched Travis Hunter to play defense. Our defense stepped up. I traded a bunch of people for Miles Garrett. That paid off. Every little move we did paid off. To me, this is the best rebuild I've ever done. To me, I don't even think it's remotely close. This is my favorite and best rebuild I have ever done. Like the team is like bronze dev. He was bronze dev. So many of these guys were bronze development players. We just went in the Super Bowl against a guy with four knockout abilities on his defense. What did I do? I ran the ball. And that's what having him on the team allowed us to do was he allowed us to run the ball. He allowed me to be able to come out here and play really ultra conservative football. He had a great offense. He had a big play kind of before half, but we found a way to win. That's really all it takes in this. You just got to find creative ways to win. This run maybe was my favorite run of the entire franchise. Jukes out both those guys en route to leading his team to a Super Bowl, man. Like, come on. Is this, this to me is, I think Jalen Wright's gotta be the MVP. He came into this franchise and just was phenomenal the entire time. Like just so unbelievably talented, so good. That's a cool screenshot. You might actually see that in the thumbnail. Um, he was just truthfully, different and 
He made plays everywhere. He broke tackles. He caught the ball. This guy had a great game. Moving Travis Hunter to defense proved to be the right decision. Now we're going to do something that's a little bit... Actually, I want to... No, this is probably the end. So I want to... Someone suggested in the comments that when we're done with a franchise, rather than just ending it, we should sim forward to see kind of how it does. Um, but I... Maybe I'll do it for the next one. I honestly, I want to run this thing back. How many bowls do you guys think I could really... Like, please... Kill like button for the next one because truly, I think we can win a lot. Let's go see who won MVP. Okay, season recap. This is cool. Joseph Bramble, the, the pick that I made that I thought was the dumbest. He got like 12 crazy interceptions in this franchise. Shout out to him. Okay, so before we wrap up here, I'm actually going to show this part of it. Franchise tag. One year, $67 million contract. Bryce Young, accept option of Travis Hunter. The money is going to fly quick. Saying goodbye to Derek Brown, he got his ring. Cade Stover, I'm gonna try because he earned it. Yeah, no, he earned it, man. He's how many big plays did he make? Billy Bowman, absolute stud. So happy to have him on the team. Pay this guy. Bowman, you Barno has got to go, guys. Okay, so essentially the question I'm asking for all of you is for future. Do you want me to sim? And honest, like I'm, I'm tempted. But the problem is you have to make sure you re-sign your guys. We don't, it might not necessarily be Bryce Young that we get to see how good of his career turns out. But if this is the last that you see of me um, in this franchise and we start Atlanta the next time, can we just get three claps for Bryce Young in the comments? Um, and Jalen Wright, truthfully, Hollywood, all these guys. Can we just shout out to them? Derek Brown had a good career. Billy Bowman had a great career. And the comment question today for if you actually made it this far, comment castle. I painted this. If you made it this far, comment castle. And then also comment um, your favorite player in the entire franchise. Guys, I love you all. Thank you so much. Um, next franchise probably is going to start on Tuesday. I got something in my eye. But hey, we go out on top. We got our bowl. GG's.